beloved one i hope you are doing well i want us to take a short reading from the book of psalms chapter 127 it says if god's grace doesn't help the builders they will labor in vain to build a house if god's mercy doesn't protect the city all the centuries will circle it in vain it's really a senseless to work so hard from morning till late at night toiling to make a living for fear of not having enough now god can provide i want you to see this it says god can provide for his devoted lovers even while they sleep now this tells us of the great things that we enjoy anytime we come into God's presence. It tells us of the blessings we enjoy anytime we are with God. And then we can do this through prayer, through the word of God, and even as we are about listening to this. So I want us to do something. We are going to like this video. So then please hit on the like button if you have not done so. This helps YouTube recommend this video out there to anyone so everyone can have access to it also by doing this you help in the spread of the gospel and of the good work of this channel then don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section hit on that subscribe button if you haven't done so on you and you here and then get on to the notification bell and do us the favor of tapping on it too you were blessed son. stay blessed Fasting is abstinence from food to seek the Lord. If you are not seeking the Lord, you are not fasting. Hallelujah. Most times, people just stay away from food and go around gisting, sleeping, gossiping, allowing the devil to use them. That's not fasting. Fasting is abstaining from food to seek. The seeking part is the difference between fasting and just maybe some sort of diet control or whatever it is are we together now the idea is not to starve yourself you see you have to understand this the idea is not starvation it was on account of food a man gave away his destiny he says i prefer to eat than to have my destiny what is it in my destiny let me exchange that destiny for food called Esau in the Bible he was not clothes he said I am so hungry to hell with my destiny bring me that pottage of red steel and his destiny went away many people laugh at Esau but that's what we do all our lives we allow food to take away the place of an encounter that can change your life forever there is no one on earth i know no one who truly works in authentic power with god who does not fast not just as a ritual what food is to your sustenance is what fasting is to your spiritual growth nobody outgrows food nobody you can't say i've been eating for 40 years are we together now so I need us to be at the same pace so that we don't think it's just a starvation. Remember in the book of Acts 23, don't turn there. There were certain people who went to consult diviners on what to do with Paul. And the Bible says they bound themselves with a curse. And they said we will neither eat nor drink until Paul dies. Fasting so that an anointed man of God can die. Are we together now? So we need to understand that this that God is doing is to empower us so that we can rise in life. It's a sacrifice that God has designed for our lifting. Even Jesus himself fasted and Jesus was teaching and said, when you fast, not if you fast. And when God declares a corporate fast, there are individual fasts, but there is a corporate fast. That is a commanded fast. Is this not the kind of fast I have commanded? You can do the one you want to do. But when God commands it, it's because there is something that he has in mind. Hallelujah. God bless you. Please be seated for a while.
just pray one prayer lord jesus open my eyes open my eyes to the understanding of your word open my eyes please pray make sure you are praying open my eyes open my eyes Oh 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 chapter 19 tonight i'm sharing on the power of knowledge the power of knowledge luke chapter 19 in the new testament jesus cried twice the first reason why he cried listen carefully the first reason why jesus cried was when he was weeping at lazarus's grave and the bible records that oh how he loved him so love was one of the first reasons why jesus cried the second reason why he cried is found in Luke chapter 19 from verse 41. Luke chapter 19. Luke chapter 19. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Luke chapter 19 verse 41. And when he was come near, he beheld the city. Listen carefully. And wept over it saying if thou hast known even thou at least in this thy day the things which belong unto thy peace he says but they are hidden from thy eyes Jesus stood over a city and was weeping he was watching the way the people were guessing their lives and Jesus your Jesus started crying and his reason for crying is that if you had known the things that are responsible for your peace responsible for your peace not just the, uh, the quietness responsible for your results jesus stood and was crying and his his purpose of crying was the ignorance of the people in that city and the inevitable fact that they would continue to be victims of that ignorance he says you do not know the things that belong for your peace he says but now they are hidden from your eyes meaning that although you are looking you cannot see them this kingdom we have been drumming it from day one of this fast that this kingdom is a kingdom of information it's a kingdom of light dominion in this kingdom is a product of knowledge not desire knowledge not intention knowledge hallelujah dominion in this kingdom is not just based on knowledge but based on sufficient knowledge having knowledge is not enough when a student goes to write exams the student is not writing another subject if he gets seven over hundred is that true he failed 93 percent and passed seven percent but the seven percent is not enough to pass the student so having knowledge is not enough there is a level of knowledge it takes for dominion to be true if the light goes off right now and you light a matchbox it is light but it is not sufficient enough to turn the night in this auditorium today so saying you have knowledge is not enough the knowledge must be sufficient to a degree that can bring you the results you desire the problem for many of us is not necessarily ignorance it is insufficient knowledge is God speaking to us 
we need deep enough knowledge not just knowledge deep enough knowledge about finances deep enough knowledge about divine health deep enough knowledge about the anointing deep enough knowledge about church growth deep enough knowledge about increase having knowledge is not enough it is true that we know some things but the challenge is those things may not hold all the keys that are required to command the results that we desire let me show you a verse that i found very very interesting first corinthians chapter 8 and verse 2 this blessed me in no small way first corinthians chapter 8 and verse 2 he says and if any man think that he knoweth anything he knoweth nothing yet as he ought to that means the proof that you are knowledgeable is that there is a desire in you for more that the moment there is a point in your life where you believe that you know enough the apostle is speaking that is by the spirit that a sense of arrival and complacency is a symptom of insufficient knowledge Sinat sang that the more I know you, the more I want to know you. So when you encounter God, when you encounter the spirit of knowledge and revelation, the sign is that although you are working in great results, there remain a hunger in you for more. I am passionate about knowing the areas of ignorance in my life because there is so much I do not know. Are we together? Everything we desire in the kingdom is available. The grace of God has made it available. But it takes knowledge. Not just faith. Faith must be upon an, a person and an information that is correct. You can have faith in error. You can have faith in an information that is not correct. So it's not just having faith. The object of your faith must be authentic. You need a high level of insight and light. A high level of insight. A high level of light. Are we together? Scattered in this auditorium and all around and all those following us from the nations of the world. The reason, listen carefully. The reason why we have requests, why we have desires, is because there are expectations before us that are not yet our testimonies. There are expectations before us. There are things we desire. Some of you are here tonight trusting God for superior dimensions of the anointing. Some of you here are pastors. You are struggling with membership up today, down tomorrow. And it's not that you are not anointed, but not to the degree to get the results you desire. There are people who are trusting God for certain levels of graces. But you see, the thing is not just to say, I have knowledge. Is it to the degree that can give you the result i always like a knowledge i also like the anointing to money if i want to take this this bottle of water and it is 100 naira if i have 70 naira i have money but not the value enough to purchase this this is what i am looking for so i must upgrade that value to the level that it can deliver this result are we together knowledge Hosea chapter 4 and verse 6, the prophet of God was speaking by the spirit and he said, my people, he never said the hidden, my people, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Satan manipulated their understanding to make them see life from a perspective and the result of that aberration is the pain and the discomfort that they have. Knowledge. The Bible says, through knowledge shall the just be delivered. There is a relationship between knowledge and deliverance, not just prayer. I told you that not all spirits go by prayer. The Bible never said so. This kind, there is a kind that goes by prayer. There is a kind that goes by prayer and fasting. There is a kind that goes by knowledge. The devourer does not go by fasting. The devourer does not go by knowledge. The devourer goes by obedience to, a, obedience to a correct information. Are we together? 
I believe in fasting. I believe in prayer. That's what we are doing now. But I'll be lying to you. Many believers keep mocking themselves, thinking just because you are praying and dissipating energy, it will cover for every spiritual predicament. No, sir. At best, God will take advantage of your alignment in prayer to lead you back to an information that is able to help you. In this kingdom, we reign on the strength of the light that we have. John chapter 1 and verse 5 says, The light shineth in darkness. The light shineth in darkness. The light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. For as long as it is night time in your life, weeping continues. The Bible says, Weeping endureth for the night. You don't stop crying just because you are tired of crying. You stop crying because light enough to turn your nights to day. We are calling this place night now simply because something has happened to the sun in as much as we know. And we are not able to receive that illumination sufficient enough to turn the night to day. But a few hours now into the morning, everything is going to change. We rise in this kingdom by light, not desire. I desire prosperity is not enough to give you. I desire to walk in divine health. I desire for that hepatitis to go. I desire for that cancer to go. I desire for that HIV, that fibro to leave my body. I desire for that barren womb to take in. It takes knowledge. It takes knowledge, not just desire. Hallelujah. You hear the testimonies of the people who God is granting them grace. Don't you think God just chose to bless them now? It is now the knowledge has come to them. And so it makes it look like this is the season God has wanted to bless you. He's always wanted to do it. But you only arise and shine when your light comes. Not when it's available. It has always been available. But the day it comes to you. Every lady's womb. In this auditorium can take seed but it doesn't make you pregnant automatically the day a real seed enters that womb then the process of conception starts are we together but as you are now seated that womb can produce so it's not enough to just say I have potentials I know what can happen no if God wants to change your life he grants you knowledge every religion that oppresses men in the world thrives through mysticism and ignorance the strength of victimization and oppression is withholding classified information from people the difference between the intelligence unit of the american nation and other nations of the world is their access to classified information there is a kind of information that is not given to the third world nations to know. It is only supplied to them if they go and plead with the intelligence unit and then they give them terms. Is that true? As terrible as terrorism is on earth, right from space, there is a system of watching on earth, real time. But that information will not be given to you is the privilege of the holders of that information. That's why they are called world powers. They are not called world powers because they are bigger. They are called world powers because they have access to classified information. So we reign in this kingdom. Not just because of how macho we are. Not just because of how fluent we are. But the access to the information. The Bible says Jesus himself knew what to do. That's dominion to know what to do good master what must i do to be saved in other words i want to be saved but it's not yet my experience and i know that the bridge between me and that result is knowledge good master what must i do not just that i desire to be saved good master what must i do to be blessed financially what must I do to be lifted? What must I do to rise to a realm where my body no longer hosts sickness? I shared with us in Revelation, I don't know which of the days, that the Bible says when a spirit leaves a man, remember? A spirit does not leave a man on his own. It is casted. Is that true? Out of that person. In my name ye shall cast out devils. They don't want to go. 
but an anointing compels them to leave and then the bible says they go through desert regions listen carefully and something about the desert does something to that spirit and without any prayer warrior praying the spirit leaves the desert and prefers to come back to the man hmm. the desert that something can happen in a desert no prayer meeting going on no fasting going on a spirit can be so uncomfortable in the desert and it will rather return back to the man that means there is something the body of man can become that can make spirits even without any man praying they will leave and that mystery you see in the desert is what the bible calls the mystery of fire this fire you see is a mystery there is something about the heat of the desert physically that does something to spirits and they prefer that's why when jesus casted them they entered the swine straight into the water straight into the water and the people drove me said leave this place when a spirit leaves a man there is something about the habitation of a mortal man that is conducive for a spirit and the moment it leaves it it goes through desert regions and something happens not compatible to their design and he says i have to leave this area of hostility so the bible says he maketh his angels winds and his ministers flames of fire that when a man becomes a flame of fire no spirit no charm no no cause by themselves you will have a dream and watch certain things leave you the first thing that happened to samson they bound his hand and the bible says when the hand of the lord came upon him suddenly heat from nowhere turned that thing the Bible says it was like flax and all of a sudden he let it go. Are we together? We must be deeply passionate about spiritual knowledge. Not useless knowledge. There are all kinds of knowledge on earth. Occultism can give you knowledge about the spirit realm. That's why Jesus said, I am the door. The authorized system for routing this knowledge. You can read all kinds of books online and that's why we have to be careful especially for we young people because in our appetite to chase knowledge we have found ourselves dappling into occultic there are books that moses wrote but those books are occultic books your real moses he wrote those books before he encountered god he wrote them as a very good student who was trained in egypt today they use those books for occultism he teaches you geometry how to align yourself to certain angles on the earth that will make you be in touch with the constellations moses taught it so when we talk of knowledge we are not just talking of a random pursuit of anything that is spiritual in this day and age where we measure respect for ministry by how much what we supposedly call debt we must be careful the proof of knowledge is the deliverance that it brings that's why many people keep growing supposedly in revelation and with all that rema the devil oppresses you as if that he's telling you i'm not aware whatever it is you are celebrating i'm not aware true knowledge liberates we pride ourselves with useless knowledge that is incapable of standing the test of time and bringing the victory that we desire stood over the city and wept and said you do not know the things that belong for your peace hallelujah let me show you something psalms 45 and verse 4 psalm 45 thank you jesus it says and in thy majesty right prosperously because of what truth not just meekness not just all of these things and thy right hand shall teach thee terrible things right prosperously not because of desire because of truth it says and ye shall know the truth and if it is really the truth you can know what you think is the truth you can know what a pastor tells you is the truth 
you can know what a denomination tells you is the truth but if it is really the truth the bible says it makes men free there are supposed truths in the body of christ that don't make men free ever learning but never coming to the knowledge of the truth acquiring things that puff us up knowledge that puffs up doesn't heal doesn't deliver doesn't bless doesn't make people closer to god there is power in knowledge there is power in knowledge there is power when knowledge is applied we reign in this kingdom by the mysteries that we know but the manifestation the potency of those truths are brought to the scene when we act the first thing to do is to get knowledge not to act the first thing to do is to build conviction through the requisite knowledge that will bring you the result this bible you see is a compendium of all kinds of knowledge that scatter across different subject matters so the assignment of the believer is to walk as though you are walking through a garden and find the details that are responsible in this book is the knowledge that will take anybody from a failure to a success it's true in this book your assignment is to walk with the spirit of god are we together to be able to piece together all the required information not some not as much as you want all the required information in this world there is a system where men can walk in divine health it is true it is true now if your experience has not captured that reality it does not mean the word of god lied it is that you have not been able to construct in your spirit and your mind all the keys that are required to produce that outcome you can give me the ingredients to make fried rice and miss one important ingredient and what i will produce will not be called fried rice yes rice but not fried rice the difference between jollof rice and fried rice is combination rice is there in all of them are we together now yes there's a lot of ignorance in the body of christ there is a lot of cramming scripture there is a lot of quoting scripture there is a lot of devotionals there are a lot of translations of the bible there are so many books but there is very little knowledge that is required because if that knowledge translates to wisdom it will be justified by the children that it will produce hallelujah i don't want the kind of knowledge that puffs me up into pride you know knowledge can do something to you if you are not careful it can bring you to a sense of pride open to john chapter 4 verse you just ah he's going to verse 17 but the person who is talking there is not spiritual he's not god-fearing he's under oppression he's sick as he's talking there and broke on top yet the person is telling you i know you are going to verse 17 that's ex the exact kind of knowledge satan needs so he he deceives you into being convinced that you are also a colleague in the realm of results whereas your life is not producing anything i know everything about getting people filled with the holy ghost i can go to acts chapter one yes i know isaiah 28 i know joel chapter two here is a gentleman in need of the baptism and you stand and struggle around there and create all kinds of flimsy excuses i know what the bible says concerning prosperity oh malachi chapter 3 bring ye all the tithes oh you know luke chapter 6 i know for my sake he became poor show me the result show me in your mind and show me in your life how god anointed jesus is it that one i know it i, I can even tell you the amplified version and we think that just because we gather those things we have knowledge no sir no sir we must be passionate about knowledge 
just because they made you a bible study leader in your church does not mean you are knowledgeable you are just the one who is representing the church and that's wonderful continue doing what you are doing but if it is results you are looking for you have to go back it's not a bible study manual that makes you knowledgeable demons don't have respect for those things i'm not against them but i'm saying much more than those things you have to go and sit down Martha was running up and down. He said, Martha, Martha, you were worried and, and, and um, offended about many things. He said, one thing is needful, to sit down at the master's feet. Lord, what is this secret to favor? What is it? Not, I know there is favor. Most of the results we want, we believe it exists. But how to make it our experience is where the challenge is. And that's one of the benefits of fasting ultimately your faith rises but the bible says the kind of fast i have commanded your light will break forth there is something about the supremacy that your spirit man will gain over your flesh because your flesh has been starved of food and the strength of the flesh is the availability of food when the flesh is energetic it runs around and plays games but when there is the absence of food it has a way of forcing suppression to your flesh and then your spirit man can hear and understand then shall your light break forth shall your light break forth and your health speedily your health physical health hallelujah only if that our loved ones knew certain truths look at me look at all of us now in this place brothers and sisters look at the knowledge that god has granted us access to imagine what have you had certain revelations and immediately you almost start crying because you wish somebody you love so much think how many times you watch sincere people sincere christians become victims of the oppression of darkness through knowledge shall the just be delivered it takes knowledge to prosper it doesn't just take God to prosper. It takes knowledge. It takes knowledge to walk in the anointing. There must be a desperate desire in your heart and my heart to pant after knowledge. To pant after truth. He said, I'd rather be a doorkeeper in your house. I know that that place is Bethel, the place of bread, where there is knowledge. i rather be than to go around celebrating. Please hear me. Those who are standing by the roadside and inside all the overflows, right where you are standing, the difference between you and any man you admire, whether in business, in ministry, in, 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 in finances, family life, whatever it is, is knowledge. When a man fights with his wife and beats his wife, it's not just the presence of demons. The demons don't just act anyhow. The demons take advantage of the ignorance. Are we together? Demons don't just act. They don't just veto your will and act. They take advantage of the gap in knowledge or the incompleteness of your knowledge. And then they take advantage of it. It is more dangerous to have incomplete knowledge. It's better to have complete ignorance. Because the days of our ignorance, God overlooks. God can overlook certain things. Like you see a little child doing certain things. And you are aware that that child does not have an ability to have that knowledge at that level. And so you forbear if a small child comes and is rolling here now and playing around we may just guide the child in love but not to flog the child because at that level we expect that to happen but if as an adult you come and you are doing it we will first find out whether it's the holy ghost making you do it and if we find out it's not the one we will send you away and we'll say no 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 you don't do this there is order in the house of god are we together if you say you have been born again that you are in christ you have access to the spirit of god then certain things should be seen in your life that validates the fact that you are walking with the word that validates the fact that you are not just reading your bible in the morning just as a ritual to say be a witness you see me doing my devotion today that's not knowledge it can be religion in fact most times it is religion 
open down my eyes that I may behold wondrous things open down my eyes open down my eyes he said call on to me and I will answer and I will show you not tell you show you great and mighty things that you do not know great and mighty things great and mighty dimensions of the anointing that you do not know great and mighty dimensions of influence that you do not know let me tell you this anybody in your life you see with sustainable results in any area do not make a mistake of thinking it is luck are we together no there is no luck in this equation when you see a mother train 11 children and for 30 years those children have remained in a way and manner that even shocks you don't just say Kai, madam you are lucky or what kind of anointing is on you no it's not just the anointing god can give you the same anointing on that woman and you won't be able to train one child with it that anointing functions well through knowledge knowledge gives the anointing efficiency knowledge gives the anointing efficiency the anointing does not just work anyhow knowledge gives the anointing efficiency otherwise there would not be need for the renewal of the mind knowledge gives the anointing efficiency you are still anointed but he said let this mind be in you which was in christ jesus hallelujah have you seen a man maybe an old elderly man that didn't have the privilege to go to school didn't have the privilege to learn english but a greatly anointed man you can see that that man utilized less than on a scale of one to ten less than four of that anointing take that same anointing don't change it the same anointing put it on another young man who is more knowledgeable and more vast in scripture that's when you will see the true potential of what that anointing could do that means that old man's lack of knowledge limited the operation of the anointing that's what happened to some of our parents the old people who were prophets they loved god they had dangerous prophetic graces but there was no accurate understanding of the word so the dispensing of their prophetic looks so limited but then you take the same prophetic anointing and you put on someone who is mighty in scripture and you see the kind of miracles and deliverances that will come for people knowledge is important in this kingdom you pay for your ignorance it will not be paid for you will pay for it in this kingdom you will pay for your ignorance you will pay for it in sickness you will pay for it in untimely death you will pay for it in lack of joy you will pay for it in sorrow you will pay for it in all kinds of diseases darkness continues to multiply but it takes those who have light light sufficient to keep the kind of results they desire is god speaking to us we are going to pray but the cry is for knowledge for knowledge for knowledge for knowledge lord give me knowledge why is our family like this we are 20 in the, the entire family but nobody rises you know i watch how i talk to people many times sometimes here on the queue and then around as i travel and they meet me and communicate certain challenges and in all honesty and with all humility i know what they are doing wrong that is responsible for that and i know what they need to do to get the result and then they say apostle pray for me i know just a touch from you as soon as you touch me everything will go and it is true that they can get some measure of results but ultimately they need to sit down and that spiritual laziness they just say that's why we love the prophetic so much not necessarily because we appreciate it that is from god it looks like an easy remedy and an alternative to sitting down and knowing god so we love it just tell me this business trip will i make it or not i don't want to hear any story though no, i don't need to learn how to talk to the people it's not i just tell me just tell me this lady i'm going to marry is my morning clear is my afternoon clear is my evening clear or whatever it is but sir there are principles to work with women i don't care just tell me 
God should be able to know. Our refusal to get knowledge has equated to the strength of Satan in our lives. He looks mighty because our ignorance gave him the ladder to climb that high. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Let me say it again. That Satan looks mighty in our lives because our ignorance provided the ladder for him to climb and look so mighty. But when you get knowledge, brothers and sisters, in my little life, I've seen the power of knowledge. When knowledge is correct and it is applied to the letter, that's when you will see how cheap Satan is. Savior, he can move a mountain. My God is mighty to save. He is mighty to save forever. Author of salvation, he rose and conquered the grave. Jesus conquered the grave. Savior, Savior, he can move the mountain. My God is mighty to save. He is mighty to save forever. Author. Once upon a time, I'm looking for him. Where is he? Doctor, come. I thought he was there. Do you know once upon a time, this gentleman was a naive young gentleman with a desire to become the future of himself. Is that true? He saw an expectation, but he was a naive gentleman. And all that happened to him in the medical school, they didn't change his cloth. They didn't change his name. They only kept supplying knowledge. When the knowledge was enough, they took him higher. Enough, they took him higher. Enough, they took him higher. One day, someone who was a master in that field looked at him and said, based on the knowledge you have, you deserve a certification to go and practice as a doctor. The difference, as anointed as I am, the difference between me and this guy, if someone is convulsing, I will pray for him because I don't know what else to do. Is that true? All I know in my world is that all wickedness and evil is from Satan. And so that's exactly what I'll do. Because that's my knowledge. And I will watch somebody who is sick, having typhoid fever, and I'm shaking around, and here comes. He already knows that this one, if it can be attended to, it does not kill. So while the mother, he says, hey, help my son. The doctor says, all right. Knowledge gives you stability stability fear is a revelation that there is a gap in knowledge panicking over everything you just hear something on your zing hey they are here again just like they said because there's something you do not know are we together now yes you can see him stand and while he's performing whatever he's doing his whole medical activity someone else is there watching and and panicking and he says don't worry and two days he just prescribes a drug oh are you doing this are you coughing are you vomiting oh i see and the person says, help me oh and the person goes to bed and wakes up the next day as if it's a lie and says doctor i'm fine knowledge knowledge is that true that means there is something you can know that will make you go to bed and wake up the next day in shock and surprise there's something you can know about favor the the i believe that all of these miracle alerts and all of this they are they are a statement i told you that a sign is a miracle with a message in it god is saying this is how easy i can change your life if you believe me you see the people coming to testify they are even shy they are surprised themselves because it's no respecter of persons are we together tonight we are going to pray and i'm going to pray for the sick very fast very fast we can't continue like this tomorrow we may not it's a miracle service but i don't know if we'll have time to pray for the sick because tomorrow god is going to tear the heavens over this place Aye. 
hallelujah the anointing oil is already i mean they carried it out. when i saw the jar coming i said please come <laughs> oh come oh come together we'll, we'll cry and speak every kind of mystery in it. <laughs> ah when the woman was saying there is nothing in my house the anointing was hearing the conversation and said so you are ignoring me you gathered me among non-living things and said you don't have anything he said change the vessel and see what i can do the anointing was hearing the conversation are you not told that you have an anointing that can teach in english when things move Huh? when things move uh, living things biology everything you said you, you personify things by giving them life and attributes of humans the oil is a dead thing it is the anointing that makes the oil alive the anointing makes anything alive including a rod that was dead are we together so tonight we are going to pray listen to me let me just give you one truth sit down please just one Can I talk about sickness for just five minutes? Look at me. What is it with Satan and sickness and diseases? Please listen. I know that there may be a number of people sick now trusting God for healing. What if I go to the hospital right now? Don't feel bad not talking against you. That's why the power of God is here. If they look at me now and doctor diagnoses me and say, young man, I just found out that there is a heart palpitation or there is a hole in your heart. Or there is a tumor in your brain correct or there is a fibroid somewhere some kind of malignant growth blocking your tubes or whatever what exactly is satan achieving with this what is it with satan and the bodies of men what is he looking for i will tell you if you don't know this you will not see the need for the healing ministry the healing ministry is not just a validation that a man is anointed there are many other ways to validate that a man is anointed jesus was very ruthless about healing the healing ministry is not just some showmanship of testimony to show that a man is a good evangelist or apostle or prophet or whatever no you see remember our our teaching on the the serpent the seed right the serpent and the woman that satan knows that there is a law right it's called the law of territory that you can only be allowed to stay in a territory if you have the requisite demands of that territory i give you an instance if i throw you inside water now you may be able to swim but not forever because that is not your habitation of existence so your design was not made that way but if i throw a fish a fish can stay there forever a man can fly in the air but not indefinite he has to come down even if the plane does not spoil something will happen to his health that pressure gradient will affect him eventually are we together now so we now see that on earth as a human being god's system for functioning on earth is that your spirit must have a body that was built before it becomes legal are we together so if there is no body your spirit is an illegal occupant it may not be illegal in the realm of the spirit and in other dimensions of the heavens but on the earth your body your spirit must be hosted in a material body god himself respected this law when he was about to come to the earth a body has thou prepared for me not a spirit the spirit is still the real me but a body had to be prepared are we together now and so christ could come into that body mary's womb did not produce the word of god mary's womb produced a coat a physical body children are heritage from the lord but they need a body is that true they need a body so here's what satan knows that for as long as there are many bodies it means that there are many spirits that can be hosted in those bodies that have wills and can choose to serve god and can choose to advance the kingdom are you seeing the conspiracy of darkness in trying to create the system of clothing and the rest as wonderful as they are eventually they are antichrist systems in an attempt to to clone different bodies so that these demons remember the demons we have been talking about i hope you know those demons are still looking for bodies till today 
so they are coming up with a system to make robots and educate the robots to be so intelligent but without spirit so that a demon spirit can come into it there are films like that you watch them where scientists try to make all kinds of robots then they invoke through a central machine a spirit is not acting that's satan's agenda but meanwhile there is a level of health that your body must assume for your spirit to safely stay there you know your body is a house god said it is a temple demon said it is a house so we know that both god and satan agree that this body is a house are we together now and so satan tries to inflict all kinds of damages there is a damage that can happen to my body it will break the body so much the spirit will be will have to leave we call that death a separation are we together every sickness is the first step towards death every if i am sick i am closer to death being sick than i am alive so the ultimate goal of sickness is not to bring you down so you'll be fine tomorrow the ultimate goal of sickness is to start initiating the process of death in your life in hope that it will continue that's why doctors are a real blessing those who work in the anointing hate doctors we love doctors here we have a lot of them because we realize that it would take more than a man of god this damage that has been done by hell will require people who keep standing because even the doctors themselves believe in miracles they don't talk to the drugs they just administer it the drug itself the system of its operation is a mystery that only god can tell so medicine itself is a miracle if you go to the hospital you attended a miracle service because something in that hospital is beyond the knowledge of the doctor are we together so satan wants to afflict me imagine that i came up now and i'm coughing i'm coughing blood think of what it would do to your faith one two think of what it would do to the to kingdom advance are we together think of what it would do so satan wants it it's a statement god you are not you are not all that you say and i'm using your highest creation to mock you the healing ministry proves the lordship of jesus in a very significant way the healing ministry does not just prove the strength of the man of god it's a testament of the dominion power of god doctors understand this the next time you are injecting somebody don't just say are you recovering expect something to flow through your contact with that syringe into the person that accelerates the process so tonight hear me if there is any sickness in your body it's a sign that satan desires to kill you it's not a sign that what he, he desires is proof it is the first stage to begin to deteriorate you there are people who are sick but you go to the hospital and they tell you there is nothing wrong that's satan for you a few days ago a lady brought me brought me um a photo of someone i think she's here just a little boy Ejimi, little boy on the leg and within months this had rotten if she, if they turn the other leg you see the bones physical bones the flesh had eaten is that a boil is that how you know that boils work another life attaching itself to your body behold i give you power to tread upon serpents and scorpions and all the powers of the enemy he says and nothing shall by any means hurt you how god anointed jesus of nazareth chapter 10 verse 38 with the holy ghost and with power he went about doing good healing all they that were sick oppressed sickness is an oppression if you accommodate it, the devil will kill you with that sickness. Everywhere Jesus saw sick people and they were serious enough about their healing. Think of what happened to the woman with the issue of blood. Imagine you were the one that married her and she was your wife. 12 years of pain watching your wife every day. 
and here comes Jesus imagine the woman who had been bound for 18 years imagine what would happen to her family life the healing ministry is an end time ministry it's not for healing evangelists it's not for apostles it's part of the tools that make us demonstrators of the reality of the life and power of God the power of God must be demonstrated upon his highest creation not just plants and animals and tonight in the name of Jesus Christ I'm trusting the Lord that there are people here who will wave goodbye do you know what God is going to do? God is going to turn your own body into a volcano and no devil, no spirit. The same way they leave deserts in peace. That's how they will have to walk out of your body in peace. Hallelujah. You have won the victory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. position of your area of ignorance Lord reveal to me what do I need to know what do I need to know to take me to the next dimension in the name of Jesus lift your voice and begin to pray everywhere lift your voice and begin to pray expose my area of ignorance Expose my area of ignorance. Expose my area of ignorance. Expose my area of ignorance. Financial ignorance. Shekata <laughs> hallelujah i like you to prophesy to yourself and say every area of my life where satan has taken advantage of me by the power of knowledge i declare that your victory in that area is broken lift your voice and pray every area may be your finances may be your spiritual life may be in the area of growth Say in the name of Jesus. One more time in the name of Jesus. Father, 
open my eyes to the revelations required for the results I desire. Say it again, Father. Open my eyes to the revelation of the truths, the information that are required for the results that I desire. Open your mouth and pray. Every result has a demand. Every result has a light requirement. Every result I desire. There is something I must know. There is something I must do. Hallelujah. One of the benefits, listen to me, of the word of God is that it can be sent on Aaron. He said he sent forth his word like a messenger. And he says his word he led them. Listen carefully. He sent forth his word. He sent it. He didn't speak it. He didn't say he spoke forth. He sent forth his word. I can be talking to you, but I can say, go and help me do something. He sent forth his word and his word he led them and delivered them from all their destruction. Please, let me tell you something. We're just going to pray one prayer and I'm going to pray for the sick. Demons are responsible for infirmities. Don't confuse it. Are we together now? There are families tied down with all kinds of plagues, patterns. Father stroke, mother stroke, firstborn stroke, first lady daughter stroke. What kind of devil is that? I'd like you to lift your voice in one minute and tell the Lord what must live your life this night. The anointing to make it go is available. Hallelujah. You must believe this. You are barren here tonight. You must be ready to take in now. You don't take in when you meet your husband. Meeting your husband gives the baby a body. You take in when the word of God gets to you. Be it unto me. Joseph was not there. Let's, let's agree with God for God's sake tonight and frustrate certain medical reports that only God, only God can take away. Are we together now? Lord, I'm ready to receive my healing. Open your mouth and Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Now listen. My God, there is such an anointing. I'm going to pray. Just, just for guys, not that sound. Please change all those things. Play the strings for me. Praise the Lord. Now we are going to pray. You have. I'm going to minister the healing power of Jesus. We may take some instant testimonies here. There's no time to call people out. We do that during the miracle services because we want to be thorough on everybody. But scattered across overflow, one, two, three, those online, wherever you are, the healing power of Jesus is able to touch you wherever you are. Are we together? Now I'm going to be praying for you. As I pray for you and the power of God touches you, there are some of you, you will be surprised at what will happen to you right now. While we finish praying, I'm going to give you an opportunity to check yourself. Now listen please, Osha's protocol just coordinates so we don't have people roaming around. The moment you find out that the power of God has touched you, are we together? I want you to make your way to the front. Let there be people at, at different points, just stationed, and we'll have a way of receiving some of them here. Jimmy, you help me. And then we'll see how we can take a few testimonies to disgrace the devil tonight. We may not be able to take all, but tonight we want to give room to the God that can step in and rubbish the works of Satan. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? This is very, very important. I want to pray for you now. Already people have been healed. Some of you, as you came, you found out. Don't be afraid. I'm going to pray for you. Bring the lady that the angel of the Lord is going to touch outside with a loud shout. Bring her. Just let me do my thing now. I'm ministering by the spirit of prophecy. I'm going to pray for the sick. Please let me have that lady quickly. I want to pray for her. It's a sign that God is giving to pray for the sick. We see the rain of your love. We feel the wind of your spirit. Now the heartbeat of heaven. Let us hear. I see the rain of your love. I feel the wind of your spirit. Now the heartbeat of heaven. Let us hear. So let it rain. name of Jesus Christ you see God does these things you know that this is a ministry of signs and wonders and God does these things as a message praise the Lord the Lord is setting this lady's family free I see oppression I command that spirit it's time to go let her go in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ and for you I take this that the devil has put in your stomach in the name of Jesus every planting that is not of the lord in the name of jesus it leaves now lay one hand where you are trusting god for healing quickly lay one hand where you are trusting god for healing if it's a part of your body you cannot touch just make contact with your chest inside and outside please expect a miracle right now expect a miracle right now in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ my God in the name of Jesus Christ I take authority over the spirit of infirmity in the name of Jesus I command every devil of sickness every devil of sickness come out of their bodies now in the name of Jesus Christ every spirit of infirmity I take authority over you right now. I take authority over you right now. Every spirit of infirmity within this vicinity, I take authority over you in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of infirmity, 
in their lives by covenant in their lives by disobedience in their lives by ignorance i take authority over you right now right now i declare be healed in the name of jesus i send the healing power of jesus like a drug into your body i command cleansing right now in the name of jesus i command healing right now in the name of jesus i command healing in the name of jesus something is happening to you a chest condition is being healed right now in the name of jesus several chest conditions as a matter of fact right now something is leaving your chest you will feel like fire just going like this and you are healed in the name of jesus christ i see an eye condition the lord is healing an eye condition in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ i'm seeing someone with a tooth problem you have your molars like severe pain i don't know if it's like hole in the teeth right now that hole closes now in the name of jesus i close that hole now in the name of jesus christ lower abdominal pain i'm seeing several ladies with lower abdominal pain i'm seeing like fire leaving me to all of those ladies in the name of jesus lower abdominal pain be healed right now be healed right now i'm seeing a lady right from the last three like three weeks you have been bleeding severely whether you're on your menstrual cycle or not severe bleeding right now the power of god is coming upon you coming upon you now coming upon you now and is living completely in the name of jesus christ there is someone you don't hear well with your right ear you don't hear well with your right ear all of a sudden it opens now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ pile there are at least three people i'm seen with pile i command in the name of jesus that devil be healed be, be, let them go right now and pile be healed in jesus name now there is a lady don't be embarrassed i'm seeing you are not a nursing mother yet there are discharges on your breast this is something that is is, is a is, is an embarrassing thing the devil has used to mock you the power of god is coming on that lady right now and there is complete healing complete healing i'm seeing someone with a growth in your neck just somewhere here after the prayer you will check it and you will not see that growth again it disappears and leaves in the name of jesus christ if there's anyone in this place on a crutch or on a wheelchair when i finish praying throw that cross and stand up in the name of the lord jesus christ i decree and declare if there's anyone having any kind of walking aid the moment i finish praying throw it and stand up in the name of jesus every pain on your limbs anyone with pain on your limbs i command healing right now peptic ulcer be healed right now peptic ulcer be healed right now all forms of hepatitis be healed right now be healed right now s s a s be healed right now be healed right now if there is anyone here with any growth in your body the devil has planted any lump on your breast your body or any part of your your system in the name of jesus i command that growth to disappear right now I command that go to disappear right now in the name of Jesus there's there's somebody you have I don't know what problem you have with your nose the Lord is showing me this is something that has affected your ability to smell it has affected your ability to smell after the prayer you will be surprised everything just leaves right now in Jesus name I'm seeing someone with a pain just right here at the arm in the name of Jesus Christ I command that pain to leave right now. I command that pain to leave right now. I command that pain to leave right now. Now, don't be embarrassed. I'm seeing someone, there is like a severe boil around your private area. And this boil has an unusual pain. You have treated it again and again and again. And it will not go. In the name of Jesus, I command healing for you right now. I command healing for you right now. 
I command healing for you right now. Someone had a dream and in the dream they used an object and they hit you with it physically. When you got up this side, Madam, you are the one I'm talking about. You, come. Let me talk to you. Because immediately I spoke, the Lord told me this is a woman. Come. Do I know you, Madam? You had a dream. Is that true? And they hit you with Yes, at, at that time I was pregnant. They hit me with a, something like spear. Like a spear. Yes. Sir. And from that time you've been having that pain yes, till now. Sir. Even the son I gave back to, he came out with that pain. He came out with that yes, pain too. Yes. Madam, you came here for koinonia. This is where all things are possible. All, not some. All things are possible. Hold my hands. In the name of Jesus, I bring an end to this oppression. In the name of Jesus, let that devil leave you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I'm still praying. In the mighty name of Jesus, I'm seeing um, there is somebody just right here at, at, at this, this point of my leg. There is severe pain, like muscle pull. Sometimes it holds on you and you cannot even move. The Lord is setting you free right now. There is somebody, your eyes, when you look physically, it looks like they are putting a rod in front of you, like a, a, a little object coming out of, you are looking, but it's like your eyes, one of it is beginning to close, and it looks like there is a rod or something like that on your eyes, this is what I'm seeing. I command that eye to be open right now. Now, whether I mention your case or not, in the name of Jesus, be healed. Overflow one, be healed. Overflow two, be healed. Overflow three, be healed. Our family online, be healed. And in the main auditorium here, be healed. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I want you to check yourself now in the next two minutes. Many of you will be surprised to see what has happened. The moment you see that the hand of God has touched you, make your way quickly and come and line up here. Lord, you reign and you rule over all. Celebrate Jesus. Unto you we ascribe all the praise. Keep coming. Lord, you reign and you rule over all. a big 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 clap hallelujah hold on please you should join the queue so that we can hurry up quickly your name your testimony just bring them here quickly so that okay go ahead um, my name is joy I'm can we have them up here is it possible will it take time okay quickly just a few minutes okay my name is joy i've been having this toothache for months and toothache it, yes sir. and then when you mentioned the toothache as in it gives me headache and then that moment, I could not feel the head. Completely. Completely. It's gone right now. Any pain around your tooth. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Yes, please. Praise God. My name is Joshua I've been healed. I've been healed. Yes, someone be confirming that maybe Bengal Pastor Alpha. Four years tonight, yes. I received my healing. And I stood here for my mom. She's having fibroid. I believe she's healed tonight. In, In the, the name, name of, of Jesus Christ, it never returns to you by the power of the Holy Ghost. Yes, please, quickly. 
Mama Mucha Fia, walk. Any pain. Any pain. Give Jesus praise. Look at this. Look at this. Could not walk well. And the Lord is healing her. In the name of Jesus. Perfection. Perfection of that, that area in Jesus' name. Quickly. Miracles. Miracles. The Lord is doing great miracles. That's a sign that everything that has not been corrected in your life. Tonight, my God is correcting it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Destiny changer. You are the destiny changer. Will you come and change my destiny? My destiny today. Come and change my destiny. over your life is broken forever in the name of Jesus Christ God bless you, yes please Apostle this is partial blindness healed by the hand of the Lord tonight, what happened to him? Uh, last year I had a problem with this uh, your serious eye. pain Okay. and then I went to the hospital eye center in Kaduna the doctor confirmed that I can no longer see with this eye Oh, you went to eye center in Kaduna yes. and the doctors confirmed that That's you will not right. be able to use the eye to see again. Yes. What happened tonight? While the prayer was going on. The eyes open. I, yes. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Close the one you can see with. Close the one you could see with before. Follow me. Just follow me. Follow me. Follow me. Follow me. Follow me. Are you sick? Just follow me. Be careful. Can you see me? Follow me. Look at. Completely blind. Could not see with this one. Follow me. If you can see me, follow me. Follow me. Follow me. Follow me. Follow me. Look at this. Give Jesus praise. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, sir, I prophesy to you that not this is a sign that every other thing that has been closed in your life, my God is opening it right now. In the name of Jesus, give Jesus praise. Go ahead. Yes, please. For ever a month, I can't see with these eyes. You can't see very well yes, with these eyes. Yes, then the eyes will be closing and be growing small. My I God. went to Shika, they give me drugs, my HOD prays. Sometimes I cannot even open my eyes. Sometimes if I'm opening water, then when the apostle was like saying, the Lord is turning to somebody's right eye. And instantly if I close my eyes and see me, the ease just stop. I really want to bless Completely. the name of the Lord. That devil leaves you forever in the name of Jesus Christ. Call down from overflow three. Oh, the lady from overflow three. Your mother. Did you call her? You called her. What happened? She is in my healing. Look at this. Where is she? Where is your mother? She's in Kano. She's in Kano. And then what happened? As in, she has pipe problem. We are going to see Oh, she has pile. Yeah, we are going to see this hospital. They say there's, there's nothing wrong with her. She's completely wet. And she used her blood, blood used to flow every day. Every My day. God, look at this. And you called her right now. She's really completely <laughs> in the name of Jesus Christ. The God who can leave Zaria to Kano to heal a woman. May he go to everyone's family and bring supernatural healing in the name of Jesus Christ. Praise God. Sometimes last year, December, I slept one night and I woke up around past one and I was not able to sleep because I was having issues with my hair. My hair, was, my hair started paining me. Then I slept up the following morning, I woke up and my hair started falling off. I couldn't control it. I went to the saloon to, make, to retouch it and stretch to see. Even at that point, the hair all just went. I had to just cut my hair. And after cutting my hair, my mom prayed because I could I refused to tell her concerning the dream that I had. Because if I should tell her, she would start panicking. So after that, I prayed and I anointed my hair. And after since then, my hair has become strong and normal. Can you imagine? This is the hair. The hair is falling off. Every devil, in the name of Jesus, the hair of a woman is her glory. I command restoration for your hair. In she Jesus. has had hair problem for some days now. Ear problem. Yes, Which sir. of the ear? My right 
Yeah, I've been what? having severe pain and severe pain. Yes, and yesterday it shot completely. It shot completely. Yes. And right now it's right open. Now it's open. Put your no hand. Pain, no Put your pain. hand there. Look at me. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Jesus. My name is Patricia Daladi. Apostle made mention of the you have problem with your one of the sense organs. I was the one the nose. I couldn't smell. Yeah, you, you said could, could not smell. You couldn't smell. How long? For 13 years now. For how long? 13 years. 13 years. Look she at, couldn't smell. Look at this. And right now, there's perfume on my hands. Can you smell? Look at this. You can smell this now. Lion of Judah. My trust is in you. Hey. My trust is in you. and gentlemen this lady could not smell in the name of jesus christ i pray for you breathe in breathe in go ahead in the name of jesus i release the life and the power of god to your body it's over forever in jesus name yes please go ahead very unusual menstrual pain for 10 years for 10 years yes, let me tell you this we have to pray for our sisters over this demonic thing because it's getting popular and many of our sisters are even believing that's how it will be it's a wicked spirit. Don't believe it. It is the devil of darkness. And in the name of Jesus, if there is anyone under the sound of my voice that this has been your experience, I pray by the power of the God I serve that from tonight, that experience lives your life forever. When the pain comes, it will paralyze her legs. She won't be able to move. And she had she came here with that same pain. You came here with that same pain. Yes, and right now, what happened to you? I'm okay. I can Completely yes, sir. free, yes, sir. free forever. In the name of Jesus. Yes, please. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. God she was you. bathing Christmas Day of 2015. Water entered her ear, and she has not been able to hear well since then. But as you prayed, her ear popped open. That's how you know it's the devil. Well. That's how you know it's the devil. That you are bathing and water enters your ear. And then that's the end of it. And I've been suffering from typhoid for the past eight years. I came here very weak, but now I'm... For the past what? Typhoid for eight years. She came very weak, but now you she's strong. You didn't go to the hospital? I've been going. It comes and goes. It comes and goes. Kai, the devil. Huh? Name of Jesus Christ. Let there be perfection right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I speak to your ears, perfection, in the name of Jesus. Go ahead. Sir, um, this woman had a dream in December, and then she saw uh, somebody in her dream, and they told her this is facial cancer, and she this woke is what? up facial cancer. Cancer of the face. Of the face. Is there something like that? Ah. And then she woke up and began to feel the symptoms uh, and the pains of the person she saw in the dream. Physically. Physically. Right now, all the pain gone. Anyone that appeared to anyone in the dream and planted anything in your body tonight may it go back to that devil in the name of Jesus. May it go back to that devil in the name of Jesus. May it go back to that devil in the name of Jesus. Go ahead, please. Himarama. Himarama. Seated on the throne.
throne He is my King You are seated on the throne You are Yahweh Yahweh Who sits upon the white horse? It's unto you who sits upon the white horse. You are Yahweh. Hey, you are. began with us last week for those who are not around last week please please I want you to get the teaching I shared a very powerful mystery I'll recap on it very quickly and then we will pray hallelujah such an anointing in this place is seated on the throne he is Yahweh he is seated on Hallelujah. One of the greatest blessings personally upon my life aside from my love and the revelation of the Holy Spirit to me one of the greatest assets in my life is a comprehension of the mysteries of the kingdom. Please listen, pay attention. Please give me one. The mysteries of the kingdom. I told us last week that a mystery is a secret code of operation. Witchcraft works by mysteries. The kingdom works upon mysteries. Success is not a mistake. Deliverance is not a mistake. Healing is not a mistake. Favor is not a mistake. Breakthrough is not a mistake. All through from Genesis to Revelation, the Bible is full of men who dare to understand the principles of the kingdom. And on the strength of that understanding, they did exploits. And I just want to share one principle that the Lord has been putting upon my heart. Listen, God began with us last week. If you understand this singular principle that I'm teaching you, many of you that would be your gift for the miracle service and you can literally walk out of here and guarantee that you will be a champion hallelujah i began to share with us what i call the dominion mystery of tithing the dominion mystery of titan please pay attention the dominion mystery of titan that there is a relationship between a tenth portion and a man's dominion upon the surface of the earth 
many preachers have taught the controversial subject of titan and they have taught it only within the circumference of finances and whilst that is true there is more to it there are so many of us here that are stealing from our future and authorizing the powers of darkness to make and keep us victims but tonight i pray that the light will shine in the name of jesus christ the bible tells us in the book of genesis how that when god made the garden of eden watch this the bible says god put adam there and he gave him an instruction he said of every tree in this garden you may freely eat i give you access not ownership i told you in the kingdom we don't own things those who own things are rebels in the kingdom no man is an owner in the kingdom everyone only has access we are stewards high blood pressure is because we own things stroke and hypertension when you own things you worry about them when you own things you are concerned about keeping them god never gives a man ownership he gives every man access the prodigal son had access but he wanted ownership from the day ownership started in his life lack started he became a victim of the very situations that he was head over until he returned back to access and so the bible tells us that adam was given an instruction that in the very garden of eden there was a tree is that true and he said of every tree you may eat but this one is my portion leave it to me the key to your dominion in this garden is not just prayer and fasting there were no bible studies in the garden of eden there were no apostles no prophets no miracle service only an instruction that obeying it will guarantee dominion there were no churches in the garden of eden only the presence of god and a heart willing to obey and he says this is the tithe of the garden keep this tight it is my designated portion for as long as you honor my instruction and keep this portion nothing will stop you from having access are you getting what i'm saying satan knew this and so when he came and beguiled eve he made them to touch of the tight the moment man touched of the tight that very factor that made creation respond to him was lifted and at once everything began to fight him the very leaves he was supposed to dominate now became his covering he started running and we see fear we see lies we see intimidation because of one instruction violating the designated portion are you getting what i'm saying now then the bible tells us watch this the bible tells us how that he was sent out of a land of abundance and supply and peace and prosperity and goodness out of eden to a land of struggle the earth was caused for his sake there was no longer dominion over the earth god never caused man god caused the earth and by causing the earth creation also responded to that watch this i told us last week that there is an ability of god that comes upon a man that makes everything under the sun work in his favor this is what the bible calls the blessing the blessing is a dimension of the operation of the holy spirit that makes everything including problems challenges everything to work for you when that ability of the spirit is upon you no matter what happens in your life it must work for you it's a law let me tell you what it means to be cursed to be cursed does not mean that you are carrying just an evil pronouncement no a cause is an atmosphere a cause is like an anointing in a negative sense upon your life that makes creation fight you everything fights you opportunities fight you friends fight you a blessing fights you when a man who is cursed stands his atmosphere not only fights him but it fights anybody who wants to help him 
are you getting the point now so the idea of course is not just about what happens in covenants the earth has been authorized by a divine pronouncement to fight anyone who dishonors the designated portion listen let me tell you something this system we are working in is already cost it's a cost system there is nothing you can do about it your only key is to exempt yourself and there is a law it's an ancient mystery of exemption that exempts you from the inevitable vicissitudes of life a job cannot exempt you an educational qualification cannot exempt you nothing aside from the operation of the laws of the spirit can exempt you now the bible tells us about abraham who was an idol worshiper that came from a land called or of the chaldeans in genesis chapter 12 the bible tells us how that god told abraham come out of your kindred and your father's house to a land that i will show you he began to propose to abraham how that you would bless him and told abraham i will make you the landlord of the earth something will happen upon your life that will make the earth to become your possession and then in chapter 14 when he went to capture lot and bring him back the bible says he met a strange man called melchizedek who was a king of an ancient city of peace called salem the ancient name for jerusalem the hebrew is jerusalem an ancient city of peace a man according to hebrews with no origin no beginning no end no father no mother a man who was operating in the office of the priesthood and the bible says when abraham encountered this priest a transaction happened between two of them please follow me the bible says abraham took the tenth of all and gave unto melchizedek do you believe that he took a tenth of all gave unto melchizedek when he gave a tenth of all to melchizedek melchizedek received it and did what he activated the blessing he said blessed be abraham son of the most high possessor of the heavens and the earth and at once the earth started walking abimelech wanted to take his wife that is a bad situation is that not true but because of the blessing abimelech released the wife and gave him gifts gave him gifts a man one moment you want to take away his wife another moment you not only become his friend you honor him with gifts there is a mystery that governs this creation do you know what we call bad luck you know what we call misfortune misfortune is not just an issue of witchcraft like ancestry misfortune is the resultant effect of taking from the designated portion there is already an authorization whether there are witches in your family or not that every time you touch God's portion you violate a law the earth starts reacting to it at once are you getting blessed now the destiny of Abraham was opened up on account of this portion Jacob who was the um, son from the lineage of Abraham watch this Jacob worked for Laban is that not true Laban cheated Jacob right he was about to give him a daughter and he said I will work seven years and then he exchanged Rachel with Leah and he worked for another seven years then he had been with him six years 20 years of oppression from a man but it still didn't matter because something was upon him and he said all right this is what will happen take your spotted calf I will take calves that are not spotted the Bible tells us like begets like and Jacob said from the calves that are not spotted if they give birth we will watch if the unspotted calf give birth to spotted children they are my own and the Bible says he took ordinary stick it was not an ordinary stick brothers and sisters and the calves who come to mate just looking at a stick a white cow or a, a a, 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 a spotless um, animal will now give birth to another animal that is spotted it is not just creation was working for him when so even if you cheated him something happened and the cows 
how the animal started giving birth and Laban said my goodness what is happening leave my presence that is a man who has honored God with his portion today I want to show you a dimension of the dominion mystery of Titan watch this do you know why many people never walk in kingdom authority many churches are barren producing posters now i'm not against that but i'm saying every week hand bills every week running around scrounging for members threatening people with causes let me tell you why because there is a law that they are violating consistently and god is no respecter of person the laws of the spirit has equal value in any territory equal value is God speaking to us tonight when Moses died please look up everyone when Moses died the Bible tells us how that he told Joshua he said Moses my servant is dead and now Joshua had a responsibility to throw down Jericho and he was afraid because the Bible tells us that Jericho was a mighty city. Do you know the fence of Jericho? According to scripture, five chariots could stand on the fence. How will you break through that fence? That is a challenge. But he said, I will show you something. Watch this. Five verse one of Joshua. Open our eyes, O oh God. Open our eyes, O God. And let men and women walk away from their chains forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. Five verse one. And it came to pass, it will be a fast reading. When all the kings of the Amorites who were on the side of Jordan, westward, and all the kings of the Canaanites who were by the sea heard that the Lord had dried up the waters of the Jordan, from before the children of Israel until we were passed over that their hearts melted neither was their spirit in them anymore because of the children of Israel now watch this they were about to challenge Jericho and when the other kings heard of the mighty things that God did the kings tried to decipher what is it about Israel that makes them always win battles what is it that makes them whether you have a greater armory than them is insignificant they will throw you down there was a mystery of dominion they were working with and God was about to introduce Joshua Joshua was just a young ruler taking over from Moses and this is what he told him let's see the mystery let's take chapter 5 verse 2 5 verse 2 are you there now let's look at it it says at that time the lord said unto joshua do what he said make sharp knives he's about to teach him how to continue in the steps of moses make sharp knives and circumcise again the children of israel the second time let's continue three and joshua made sharp knives and circumcised all the children at the heel of the four skins and then and this is the reason why he circumcised them all the people that came out of egypt were males even all the men of war they died in the wilderness after they came out of egypt five now all the people that came out were circumcised but all the people that were born in the wilderness by the way when they came forth out of egypt were not circumcised are you seeing that now all those who had been winning and making israel make progress it was because they were circumcised but he said these guys are not circumcised and if you don't circumcise them something dangerous is about to happen to you verse 6 it says for the children of israel walked 40 years in the wilderness and all of that and all of that let's go to verse 7 and their children whom he raised up in their stead them joshua circumcised for they were uncircumcised because they had not circumcised them by the way verse 8 watch this and it came to pass when they were done circumcising all the people they abode in their places watch this joshua is afraid of conquering jericho 
and the walls that are before him and God said no problem heaven wants to come into your affairs but you need to authorize them he says circumcise the people the moment the circumcision finished verse 9 let's see what happened and the Lord said to Joshua this day I have what rolled away the reproach of Egypt my goodness so all the while they were carrying the reproach because they were not circumcised he said the moment a circumcision a separation a cutting away happened he said this day I have rolled away the reproach of Egypt from you wherefore the name of the place to this day is called Gilgal go to verse 13 let's see something mysterious that happened verse 13 everyone look up and it came to pass listen Joshua was by Jericho that he lifted up his eyes immediately after circumcision he saw a strange man who came and said I'm ready to partner with you you have invited the realm of the spirit into your affair that man had been there all the while but there was no access he said you need help you can't conquer Jericho by your strength the realm of the spirit wants to partner with you but the secret is the circumcision the moment it happened the Bible says he lifted up his eyes and he saw a man with a sword and he went to him and said are you for us or against us next verse and he said nay but I come I'm also a warrior but I fight in the spirit the same way you guys are warriors I am also a captain I lead a battalion I help men on earth who invite us to come Imarama, you are seated on the throne and he said and Joshua fell on his face and did worship and he said unto him what saith my Lord to his servant next verse watch this and the captain of the Lord's host said unto Joshua lose thy shoe from off your foot from the place you stand this holy ground and Joshua did so next verse now Jericho was straightly short watch this let me just save our time are you noticing what is happening here immediately after the circumcision he saw the captain then the captain started revealing to him the strategy this is how you will take Jericho otherwise they would have died there because physically speaking Jericho was insurmountable now watch this your tithe in the spirit is similar to this spiritual circumcision your tithe is an authorization for the realm of the spirit to come into your affairs and partner with you this is the reason why even human beings for men men because men are the carriers of the seed men are instructed to be circumcised why not sir? how can a man come from heaven we believe children are the heritage of the Lord but you will give birth to a man and he will still go through circumcision are you getting the point now because the moment circumcision happens the realm of the spirit comes come come watch this you are on your own minding your business trying to win the war of life by yourself and God is saying you are doing this thing sensually you are doing this thing carnally you never will be able to do it it says honor me with your tithe and the moment that happens there is already a spiritual arsenal that comes to work with you and that which you have becomes supernatural not just natural not just natural it becomes supernatural the reason why there is a crowd of people inside and outside look at this right to the road right everywhere let me tell you the reason why it is not just because this is a great ministry it is because we have beckoned on the assistance of the supernatural there are some people standing outside who are even shocked that they are here when you see them you imagine there is no amount of invitation you would have given them to come but for the realm of the spirit he said I am come as a captain in other words the same way you fight there are spiritual arsenals to waiting you have been trying to fight every battle in your life 
just by using physical arsenals and the Lord is saying the earth is fighting you when you return my designated portion you authorize the realm of the spirit to begin to help you this ministry by the grace of God we are faithful never for any reason and by any means under the sun will we touch God's portion not out of fear but out of revelation my life as a person God is my witness that I honor him and that portion that belongs to him this is why I'm dangerously protected it's not about a man no 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 dangerously protected I share with you a simple but powerful mystery when pastor Jakes was sharing and he said they picked somebody from his position and makes him a deputy manager deputy manager with interviews on phone you went to school and you are intelligent is that how it is done let me tell you the blessing breaks the rules for you it breaks the rules for you yes when men say it cannot be done it breaks the rules the problem is that we are too carnal we have intellectualized life life is spiritual say it after me one more time shout it like you believe it life is spiritual all that you see is not all that there is those who are controlling this world are those who have an advantage of the spirit you are Yahweh you are seated on the throne you are Yahweh you are seated on the throne tonight God is asking you are you ready to stop struggling in life let me tell you struggling is a cause if you ever convince yourself that God is the author of your struggle I am telling you now struggling is a cause it's a cause from the pit of hell you will never be able to serve God if all you are doing in your life is looking for money because money is not missing you were never supposed to look for it hallelujah you will never be able to serve God if you allow this mammon the spirit that takes the heart of men away from God to begin to pursue other things trying to look for earthly relevance there are people who want to build a house but they want to build it physically by putting blocks you will die trying to build that house because there is a spiritual dimension to everything give us James chapter 2 verse 26 I hope we'll be able to find it I'm reserving it for next week by the way next week Friday here is going to be a powerful vigil hallelujah yes next week is going to be a vigil it's going to be a time of prayer and worship we're inviting guests from all over now watch this the Lord showed me this mystery and it changed my life I shared it in Abuja I was reserving it to start the teaching next week but your hunger has tempted me to go to that scripture and let's let's touch it a bit Paul watch this oh, sorry James the apostle James was teaching on faith and works corresponding action is that true and while he was teaching on faith and works he just feared off and brought a powerful principle in an attempt to explain faith and work he, comp he, he compares it with something he says for as the body without what a spirit now all of you watch this guy the only reason that I can interact with him is because there is a spirit is that true if the spirit leaves this body what happens I will reject the body all of you will reject the body are you getting me and we will have to bury him because it is a body though complete it has no spirit are you getting me now i want you media please keep it there keep it there so that we'll... i want you to remove the word us and just read just the first line to the comma are you ready want to read one more time one more time for the body 
Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Without the spirit is dead. It didn't say for the body of man. For any material thing that does not have a spiritual force backing it, it is dead. For any material business without a spirit equivalent is dead. For any church without a spirit agency backing it is like a dead body. It says for a body without a spirit. So the nation of Israel was like a body without a spirit. And he said, Joshua, you will lose. You need the spirit component. And circumcision authorized the spirit. When the realm of the spirit came, they said, let's go. We can take Jericho. And with one shout, this was what David knew. That as big as Goliath was, he was a body without a spirit. The other people were looking from the three-dimensional realm. Ah, Goliath was shouting and David looked at him. He said, I see a body, but there is no covenant, no spirit. What is the force in the spirit backing you? And Goliath said, am I a dog? Even if you fight me, honor me. And David said, you are joking. You don't know who is talking. I'm not alone. I, I, you are an uncircumcised. See the word again. See the word again. You are an uncircumcised I would have been afraid of you. I would have considered your threat if you were circumcised. Where is the ties that connects you to the realm of the spirit? And he said, I'm circumcised. I may be weak, but there is a government that backs me. When you get this key, my brother, you will run as if Satan does not exist. I promise you I promise you this you can jump around for deliverance you can hop from everywhere but the body without a spirit is dead so your boss in the office knows this and there is a spirit that backs his chair you just get up with your your certificate and sit on that chair and it becomes too hot because all in that office is not just a chair. It's a throne. There are spirits back in it. That's why the Bible says, they that knew their God, they that have connected with a spiritual advantage, they shall be strong. Shall do exploits. Rise from the realm of being natural and tap into the supernatural realm where the realm of the spirit assists you. And your life will be nothing short of a wonder. How many people, listen, I have given up on trying to do things by my strength. Because I know I'm wasting my time. The body. In the same way, the next time somebody stands and threatens you, that is a body without a spirit. See, no matter what talk people talk, I only consider you if you are connected spiritually. Are you getting what I'm saying? I will deal with you. The body without the spirit is dead. I will make sure you leave this job. The body without the spirit is dead. You only pay attention to a man who has risen beyond the three-dimensional realm because there is an assistance, whether demonic or whatever. Are you getting me? circumcision is that key there are many who continue ah we have a an extent we are going to be touching on the matters of the kingdom next week friday i'll be showing you certain secrets of the kingdom that it will make you almost like a drunk man you will get up and jump and shout tonight all we are doing in this miracle service is by an ancient mystery crying and asking heaven and say lord behold the sick people and already in this place there are more angels the arsenals in the realm of the spirit are more than what you know that's always what happens whenever you see me come to sit down i smile around the stage i would have died of hypertension if i'm responsible for your healing but we have made arrangement already we are covered oh yes absolutely we are covered Heaven is jealous, jealous to protect his own. 
because God's designated portion listen when you steal your tithe you have not only destroyed your destiny you have stolen from your children every time you don't tithe just know that your firstborn is in trouble if you don't do it again you are affecting your children because he said i will pour you a blessing you will not have room in other words no matter how greedy you are your lifetime cannot exhaust it so when you steal you have endangered the destiny of your children god's portion if anyone ever told you tithing is all about money that person lied to you or was sincerely wrong tithing has nothing to do with money is the law of open heavens let me surprise you if your tithe is ten thousand and you carry one million and give charity foundation and you don't tithe that ten thousand you are operating under a closed heaven don't convince yourself that because you gave one million the heavens is open it is called due process i'll teach you next week there is a protocol to spiritual things are you getting my point tithing is what opens your heavens and then anything you do under that open heavens will prosper if you like carry one billion give charity organization give for the building of church if you are not a tighter i guarantee you the bible says your heaven shall be brass and your earth iron all of them are conductors of heat get set for heat in your life when the heaven is open if not if for nothing we know there is ventilation fresh air the wind comes but when your heaven is brass and your earth is iron many of us here no matter what prayer happens in this that's why we took the communion the devourer is authorized to destroy anyone who is not spiritually circumcised the devourer is not a demon the devourer is a principality even jesus christ acknowledged them that's why he said he is the head of principalities it destroys men's lives on legal basis this earth is too wicked for you to allow chance no i pray for people all the time people with cancers hiv tuberculosis communicable diseases imagine if i refuse to be faithful i would die like a chicken because most times i lay hands on people and there are medical doctors here they know that some of these things are physically not healthy but i'm circumcised my goodness you invoke my name in a shrine both the invoker the invokee and the ordinance it they will burn to ashes ashes no matter how mad a man is he doesn't enter fire by mistake he can cross the road and you say he's a madman but when he sees fire he fears off when heaven backs you let me tell you your life becomes a wonder even to you this ministry is a wonder to everyone not just because we are so smart we are just stupid enough to involve the realm of the spirit because by the arm of flesh shall no man prevail you reign you ancient zion's king kadosh kadosh you are mighty on your throne oh sing oh fountains of the deep cry out kadosh you are mighty on your throne On your throne, you were mighty on your throne. 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 You 
you are mighty in this place. 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 You are mighty in my life. 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 Hallelujah. We are going to pray just two prayer points and then I'll begin to minister. You are mighty in this place. They that are with us are greater, greater, greater. Mantos Kalabandigalia. There shall no man be able to stand against you all the days of your life. Prayer point number one. Oh God, by the blood I cry for mercy. Where I've allowed the devourer, I have stolen from my tithe your designated portion. I've allowed the devil deceive me that the tithe is a gimmick by preachers. Now I realize and I ask for your mercy. Lift your voice and pray. Inside and outside. Lift your voice. Your tithe is your spiritual circumcision. Hallelujah. Prayer point number two. Ask for fresh grace. Oh. And make a vow that you will never miss out on your tithe again. Make, make a vow. Not by fear. Listen, I give you an assurance and I pledge the name of the Lord upon this. If you take what I've shared tonight, for many of you, this is your secret, it's your password to a mysterious level of lifting. A level of lifting that will surprise you as much as surprise those who are your spectators. God's portion. 
the time his designated portion that makes creation to walk in your favor makes your enemies to walk in your favor mysterious but powerful consistent hallelujah just one more prayer and then we'll trust to see the mighty things that the Lord is going to do I want you to lift your voice in one minute we are going to pray in the next five minutes listen I want you to confront the gates of your destiny and I want you to pray and say you must open up this night lift your voice it's the seventh month the gates of my destiny must open up by the power of the Holy Ghost 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 that must open up some just chariots some in horses but we just prepare for our God just add one more prayer because I see the angels of the Lord already moving let me just add one more prayer listen I want you to pray listen there are giants on every mountain every one of us is holding a prayer request because there is an aspect of your life the devil has refused to let you go but tonight i want you to lift up your voice and prophesy to the heavens and challenge those powers and say i must go tonight lift your voice inside and outside cry I must walk away that carrying out disease must die today that cancer must die today that HIV must go today that barrenness must go today that stagnation must go today Pray. Something is happening in the realm of the spirit. Pray. Something is happening in the realm of the spirit. Pray. Something is happening in the realm of the spirit. Oh, 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 Hallelujah. Now, before I begin ministering, 
please can I have that family if they are here the family that came with the poison person are they here please let's save time if they are here just signify by wave of hand and then run out here quickly there's a lot to do tonight hallelujah praise the Lord while that is happening I want everybody to follow up on your prayer request if you are here to write please one minute so that when we begin to flow we just move and we don't stop so you have one minute while you are praying in tongues just write your prayer requests very quickly so that when it's time to pass it you just pass it very fast make sure you don't keep silent write the issues that have threatened you and watch the God of heaven turn them into testimonies Tell me what can I do? I can leave without I can leave without So tell me atmosphere is completely under the influence of the Holy Spirit and that everybody here within this vicinity comes under the influence of the Spirit Lord that no one will walk out of this place without a touch of God hallelujah hallelujah now I'm going to begin to minister to us and while I prayed for this in the course of the week again and again I kept seeing please pay attention can I have strings 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 string, string. hallelujah I kept seeing again and again spirits watch this spirits leeching onto people this is what I kept seeing like a man sitting on a man's shoulder I saw this over many people and I said Lord what is the meaning of this and the Lord began to to reveal to me that these are the spirits that cause setbacks upon the lives of men and upon the lives of families and the Lord said when I come up he said the first thing I should do is dislodge those powers dislodge those powers I saw them like a man like a child who sit down on the shoulder of another bringing a resistance to your destiny and I'm about to pray for you right now there are so many people under the sound of my voice so many people under the sound of my voice they must go heaven is here to assist us lift your hands everyone inside and outside there will be such mighty deliverances outside by the anointing of the Holy Ghost hallelujah I even see someone um, uh, suffering from severe migraine 
but then that migraine you think is just sickness we are about to make a shout brothers and sisters this shout is like the sling of david it looks ordinary but there is a circumcision upon it it's a shout that rises beyond the earth realm it's a shout that rises beyond the intelligence of men it's a shout that is like a battle sound to the angelic it's like a battle sound because your destiny must open up right now there will be mighty deliverances mighty deliverances hallelujah i'm going to pray for us and then at the count of three we are going to shout that name jesus my goodness i sense the anointing of the spirit heavy the power of god will fall upon many of you in a mighty way and you will see this spirit some of you are already feeling uncomfortable it's the power of god especially many outside there will be mighty deliverances lift your hands now thank you jesus father in the name of your son i pray right now and i sound an alarm in the realm of the spirit i decree and i declare by the anointing of the holy ghost that the fire of the spirit oh restrain not your hand oh mighty one we pray that you arise as a man of war there are destinies at the mercy of your touch i pray that by this shout oh god there be a visitation that by this shout oh god everyone here under any spirit help them please help them bring them out everyone here under any influence as we shout let fire catch them and visit their foundations and i command every power that at this shout you will let god's people go inside and outside one two three shout that name i command witchcraft powers of darkness right now right now in the name of jesus inside and outside inside and outside inside and outside the fire of god is falling on people falling on people i cause witchcraft I cause witchcraft. I cause witchcraft. I cause witchcraft. In the name of Jesus. Lift your hands. Malatata. I'm seeing altars on fire. That's what I see in the spirit. Please bring them out. Altars on fire. One more time, we are going to shout. Physically, many of you will feel the fire physically physically right now in the name of jesus one two three jesus! oh yes that fire that fire that fire of the holy ghost brings deliverance outside 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 miracles are Mighty deliverances by the power of the Holy Ghost. You must let them go. You must let them go. Right now. By fire. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. There are people here. As I begin to speak, the Holy Ghost will locate them. I'm seeing ladies. Ladies, a man comes to you in the night and sleeps with you right now by fire. Oh God, locate them right now, right now, right now. I cause that spirit. I cause that spirit. Ladies, ladies, a miracle is happening to sisters. I cause those spirits. I cause those spirits. Outside, the fire is falling on ladies. Falling on them. 
Apacata esta ropa Siempre que te quitemos Sua pique tela Seria que apacata Paco do pique tela Siempre que te quitar Salada baba Siempre que te quito 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 I'm seeing a family in the vision of the Lord. Everyone in that family has been tied down by witchcraft. Lord, where is that person in this place? Inside and outside. Right now as I speak, the power of God comes upon that person. Right now, wherever that person is, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, inside and outside, the power of God Comes upon that person. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift your voice in one minute. This is what the Lord is telling me. As we begin to pray, miracles will start happening. Lift your voice and break every chain holding you down. Go ahead. This is what God is telling me. hands lift your hands i hear my spirit families families god is stepping into families there are altars there are altars over families that are about to be broken as you are standing right now god is going to be visiting your family at that shout again inside and outside make sure you are participating Inside and outside, we are going to shout that name as you shout the name of Jesus. Families, I see altars on fire. Are you ready now? Father, any family under the yoke of bondage, as they shout this name, let there be a visitation. One, two, three. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift your voice. And ask him for a visitation again. Something serious is happening in this place. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. I'm hearing marital spells. Marital spells. Please lift your hands. Listen. 
hear me something mighty is about to happen here the lord is ministering to me that there are people who there are spells tying down their marriages whether single or married right now lift your hands as i begin to speak the wind i see like a wind a whirlwind moving across this auditorium oh. it will catch up with some people right now where are they oh god visit them right now in the name of jesus one more time we will shout that name wherever they are one two three jesus name Dorcas Dorcas a miracle is coming Dorcas an altar is on fire and I'm hearing the Lord telling me a miracle Dorcas Dorcas come and stand here hallelujah who is Israel I'm hearing a name Israel Israel the Lord is ministering to me tonight he must let you go let you go hallelujah now the Lord is showing me a woman you are here you had a miscarriage there is a woman here who had a miscarriage it's like you had a child and you lost the baby and the Lord is telling me, please help them, those under the anointing, so that we don't, this place is not rowdy. Listen, let me tell you something. The anointing of the Spirit does not make the difference. The anointing is the difference. The anointing does not make the difference. Without the anointing, we are just making noise here. But by the anointing, and I'm telling you this, no matter where you are, whether you are inside here or outside or right at the back, I want you to connect because God is visiting you. And every one of you must have a touch. Dorcas, where is your mother, my dear? Huh? I'm not busy, Zaria, sir. No, I'm not saying, She's where is she? Mina, Niger State. She's in Mina. Yes, we have to pray because the Lord is bringing a mighty breakthrough for your family. Do you believe that? Do you believe that? Hold my hands. Father, change the story of this lady by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus Christ. As I hold your hands, I declare in the name of Jesus Christ that the Lord set you free. Madam, look at me. Where is your husband? At home. Huh? He's at home. Why didn't he come with you? Because there is a breakthrough that is a portion for him in this meeting. Amen. But I'm going to pray for you. You believe that? Yes, sir. You believe that? Yes, sir. Because this is delay. Yes. I'm seeing delay in your yes, family. Sir. Serious yes, delay. Yes, it's sir. even becoming an issue of argument between you and your husband. Yes, sir. I'm seeing two of you arguing. Yes, sir. But the Lord is saying he is bringing rest to your yes, family. This Amen, night. Sir. In the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. Father, let there be rest. Rest for her. In the name of Jesus Christ. You are doctors. Where is your mother, my dear? You. She stays in Kaduna. 
Why the same way you are crying is how I'm seeing your mother crying in the realm of the spirit. And the Lord is ministering to me. The Lord is saying, why wouldn't she cry when the load is too much on her? Look at me. Like we shared, tell your mother to get back into faithfulness in tithing. Are you hearing what I'm saying? And even you, yourself, otherwise you will keep seeing repeated hardship. But hold my hands in the name of Jesus. Lord, bring rest to this lady. Bring rest to her in the name of Jesus Christ. Can, where is the woman that had a miscarriage? There is a woman that had a miscarriage. And the Lord is asking me to minister to her. We may not be able to minister to everybody, but there is, there is someone. Please make sure you don't sit back. The Lord is ministering to me about that person. So that we'll just, we'll just pray for her. Dogara. Dogara. I'm hearing a name, Dogara. Dogara. Who is Dogara? You? Your name is Dogara? Yes, sir. Where's your dad? He's at home. In Kaduna. He's, he's at home. In Kaduna. We have to pray for him. What I'm seeing will never. If they are vomiting anything, please and please maybe carry them out. Of we're, we're about to pray, please. Don't worry. In the name of Jesus, I lay my hands right now over and I cause that spirit that wants to bring accident. In the name of Jesus, it will not come to pass. We cancel it right now by the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. Madam, I want to pray for you. The way I'm holding your hands, that's the way the Lord is saying, I should tell you, he's going to begin to hold your hands and that he will cause you to move forward in your life. The Lord is saying, I should tell you, he's bringing restoration to your life and he's bringing joy to you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let it be. You are the one with miscarriage. Why did you sit back? Now come. There's nothing embarrassing about it, madam. This is a family. Because I'm seeing another one happening and we must pray for you. Yes, sir. You're, it's happening again. Yes. We have to cancel it. Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. It's not a normal thing that you are having miscarriage. Yes, sir. Because there is a spirit that oppresses you. Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. And that's what is responsible for that miscarriage. It's not just about praying, praying and saying, pray for me. Okay. Do you understand? Yes. It takes the anointing of the Holy Spirit. He will give birth to a baby boy. Oh. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray that this family will experience your touch. Madam, lay, lay your hands on your stomach. Father, there will not be miscarriage again in the name of Jesus. That's right. I see the Spirit. Let her go right now. Right now, release her completely. I set her free. Lord, you showed me a baby boy. Confirm your word by the power of the Holy Spirit. Why are they here? Dorcas, your name is Dorcas too. Your name is Dorcas too. Your daughter's name. Just stand I'll pray for all of you. You are Israel. I'm going to pray for you. Are you a student? We have to pray because I'm seeing the devil attacking your academics. Attacking your academics very seriously. So that they will not begin to tell you your scripts are missing. Huh? And then they will implicate you in the malpractice. The Lord is asking me to minister to you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I declare by the anointing of the Holy Spirit that this is broken. You're all Israel's. And I'll pray with you. Come. Let her go right now. I curse you by the God of heaven. Release her right now and let her go. Right now. In the name of Jesus. I'm looking at this woman but in the realm of the spirit. All I'm seeing is a large snake. That's all I'm seeing moving around. In the name of Jesus Christ. Where's the usher? Ushers. Lay your hands on this lady. Just one. I curse that spirit. You must release her right now. In the name that is above all names. There is no hiding place. The light of God is against you. In the name of Jesus Christ. There is no hiding place for you. By the blood of Jesus Christ. You must release this woman. Is a spirit of death. Let her go right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father. May they experience your touch. In the name of Jesus Christ. May they experience your touch. In the name of Jesus Christ. May they experience, I curse that spirit. Let her go. Let her go right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Your baby's name. In the name of Jesus.
of Jesus Christ. I declare by the power of the Holy Spirit, there is liberty for this boy. There is liberty in the name of Jesus Christ. There is liberty. Hallelujah. Now, all those who were brought out here under the anointing, I want to, I want to speak to them now. Don't worry. Everyone out here, I speak to the spirits that are tormenting you. You know my voice, I represent the Most High. At the count of three, leave them and go. Right now, one, two, go, go, go. Out of them. Out. Out of them now. Out now. Never to return. At your Lord, live your life. Live your destiny. Restoration of virtue. Of grace. I cost that spirit from its foundation. I cost it from the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. All those who are trusting God for jobs, lift your hands. I see a strange anointing in this place. Please, don't withhold your hand. Don't withhold your hand. There is an anointing. There is an anointing. Sister, you looking at me. Rejoice. I see an appointment letter given to you. You. This lady looking at me. You. Come. I'm talking to her. You are turning back. You. Come, 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 come. I see an appointment letter given to you. There will be mighty miracles of jobs. Hallelujah. Come. This is the person I'm talking about. Because I was praying and before I would even start, I saw them handing over to you something that looks like an appointment letter. Right? You believe me? You believe me? You will see it and you will stand before God's people to testify. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. The Lord says I should tell you he's rolling away your reproach, madam. The reproach of many years is being rolled away in this season. That's what the Lord is saying I should tell you. The reproach of many years is being rolled away. I'm seeing like a baller. That's what I'm seeing. A trash place where they pour dirt. And I'm seeing a new seed shooting out. And that's what is that's that's like a type of your destiny. And the Lord is saying, I should tell you, He's rolling away the reproach from your life. In the name of Jesus. Lift your hands and let's release miracle job. If you don't believe in it, put down your hand. I command you by the blood of Jesus, you foul spirit, you have oppressed this body. In the name of Jesus, I break your covenant, I break your ordinance. There is a strong spirit that has been oppressing this lady. It's not just her. Can you look at how many people holding one tiny lady? I curse you. Now, I curse you. I curse you by the God of heaven. And I curse you by my office. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I curse that power. Let her go now. Right now. Release her destiny. Release her family now. By the blood of the eternal covenant. She's free. Go. Release her now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let me tell you something. Listen, listen. People of God, don't think we are playing games here. I know you may see some of the things happening. These are the powers that have tied down men's life. It's not solved by counseling. You are just moving in the physical. Yet in the realm of the spirit you are bound. We are not embarrassed. We are never embarrassed to set people free. Because that's what Jesus said. There's got to be a way of setting people free. Hallelujah. Father, jobs now. In the name that is above all names. I want you to receive it as a prophecy over your life. Lord, I declare everyone called jobless here by the 
favor of God I terminate joblessness right now by the favor of God I terminate joblessness right now anyone who has applied for any job I compel them to call you I compel them to call your loved ones I compel them to favor you here called Agnes Agnes I'm hearing a name Agnes the Lord is ministering to me about one Agnes we we'll begin to pray for the sick shortly Agnes I'm hearing the name Agnes God is ministering to me he wants to bring deliverance to the family of Agnes do we have anyone there Agnes Your name is Agnes. Your name too. Your family member. Okay, I'm going to pray for you. We'll begin to pray for the sick after this. Father, in the name of Jesus, bring breakthrough for this family. You showed me that you're visiting this family. Go ahead and confirm your word with signs following. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you. Whoever is Agnes in your family, let there be a miracle in the name of Jesus. I want to begin to pray for the sick, but I'm seeing a very serious situation here. There's someone here with a swollen leg. I don't know who that person is. Your leg, mysteriously, paining you and it looks, it's, it's like swollen. This is what I see in the vision that the Lord is showing me. Who is that person? Your leg is swollen. Where is it? Which of the legs? Look what? Look, if if the devil, you remember I told you this a body without the spirit. Look what is happening to this girl. And then you just come and marry her because you think you want a wife. Are you seeing that? Is is if it can look at one two three four five people holding one person imagine what it would do to someone's destiny i say this without a sense of cynicism many of the people that god is setting free attend churches every week look we need to restore the power of god in our churches and stop playing games with god because God's idea is not just for one platform. Hallelujah. Swollen legs. No, no, no. Don't, you, don't, you don't have to. Madam, I see you too. Your legs. For how long? What's the situation with her? Is her leg swollen? Okay, hold on. She can't walk. Baby, how are you? Hallelujah. Please help us with the mic. Who brought her? Okay, no, it's okay, it's okay. What's your name? Annie. Annie? Your name is Anne. Agnes. Alice. Your name is Alice. You can't walk. You can walk, but your leg is bent. Oh my goodness, look at such an innocent lady. Lord, have mercy on this lady. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray that the Lord will visit you. In the name of Jesus Christ, let her go back when I begin to pray for the sick. Then we let them come out. I'm just ministering to special cases. Leg, your leg. All of you who had a dream, in a dream is like something was shot. It's like I don't know if it was an arrow. I'm seeing something that looks like a dream, and something was shot on your legs. If the person is not here, I'm seeing someone who had that dream. It's like, I don't know if it was like a gun or something. Or, an, or a, 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 a sharp object. I know that it was, it's like it was shot to your leg. That's 
Something beat me when I was sleeping. I just woke up and screamed. So blood was coming out of my legs. I'll pray for you, but this one I'm seeing, I just want to flow as the Holy Spirit is directing me. It's like, it, it looks like a gun or something sharp. Huh? I was shot in the realm of the spirit. In my dream. You were shot. Fired at you. Yes. And what happened to you? I only I prayed when I woke up. You prayed dream. when you woke up. From the, dream. the Lord is going to set you free. I know that I've talked to you once, but truly, truly, there is a spirit of delay and stagnation in your life. Because you love God, and God is going to use you in many ways. Not just in the area of the anointing, but even in the area of finances. But as it is, there are many things that are not moving in your life. Lift your hands, let me pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, the reason why you redeem is so that we will be free. I pray that you set this gentleman free by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Everything that was fired on your leg in Jesus' name, I curse it. In Jesus' name. What's happening to you, madam? My leg is your leg, yes. what happened? It's just paining you or it's swollen? It's paining in me for me to stand or to walk almost two years. It's broken for Almost two years. Which of the legs? This one. What can't you do? I, I can't stand like this. Some people are standing now. For me to stand still, you can't stand straight. It's a problem for me, yes. Is it that it's shorter than another? Or what was the issue? It's not shorter than another. Okay. It's, it's you can't believe... stand Huh? Why is she here? She's your daughter. My father was shot in a dream by an arrow. Through it. According to my dad, it entered his thigh and came and out. Came out. The other this thigh. is the person I'm talking about. Yes, and it, huh? it caused a physical wound on his thigh up to the present. This guy Where is, is he? Is he here? He's in Lagos, sir. He's in Lagos. Yes, sir. You believe God will touch him? Yes, sir. When I pray for you, call him and tell him yes, that he's been prayed for. Yes, huh? sir. Yes, because sir. this is witchcraft. Where are you from? I'm from Benway State. What's your name? My name is Kate. Kate. Yes, sir. From Benway State. Hold yes, my hand. Father, visit this family. You have revealed this in the name of Jesus. I cast this witchcraft. Let it leave your father never to return by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Let it leave your father never to return by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Madam, you believe Jesus will heal you? Yes, I do. You believe with all your heart? Yes. Madam, what's your situation? I have new pains. Since Me? I, yes, since I feel sick, they used to swell up. Since so I you... Since I was sick for six months, but he used to swell up. But now I can't walk. I can walk and be getting sharp pain. Where? Where is the sharp pain? Okay. How about you? My leg is swollen for over five years. Five years. I cannot stand. Alone. Where is? Which one is swollen? Oh, I see. You can't stand. I can't stand for long. For a long time. Mama, how about you? I'm not two months now. I started. Two, two months. Yes. What's happening? I have arthritis. You have arthritis. Yes. Who else? Who again? Leg problem. Leg problem. All of you, I'm going to pray for you too. Your legs yes. swollen. Me oh, you are the one who said something beat you. Ah, you are a worker in this place. Let's challenge that devil. She's a worker in this house. There is an immunity. Father, in the name of Jesus, I declare that this will never return to her again. In the name of Jesus Christ. Never return to her by the power of the Holy Spirit. I'm going to pray for you. And I want you to check yourselves after I pray for you. In the name of Jesus. Sister, five years your leg has been swollen. Permanently like that. Have you gone to the hospital? What did they tell you? Nothing was wrong. Eh? Nothing was wrong. Nothing is wrong. Because when a thing is spiritual, no matter what happens in the physical, you may not be able to get an equivalent, um, a, a something to be able to treat. But Father, in the name of Jesus, we cause witchcraft. This is like, right? In the name of Jesus Christ, I command freedom, freedom for your legs. In the name of Jesus, I break the power of witchcraft. Mama, I pray for you right now in the name of Jesus and by the power of the Holy Spirit. I pray for you right now. Every wicked spirit leaves you right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Lay your hands on your chest. The Lord is bringing you deliverance right now in the name of Jesus. This is witchcraft for five years. I'm seeing a spirit. Go! Go! In the name of Jesus. You can't remain in her. The swollen legs, I command the swelling to go down 
in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, Mama, I pray for your leg. In Jesus' name. I pray for your leg. That's where the pain is. Just lay your hands there. In the name of Jesus Christ, I cause the pain by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please check yourselves. Check yourselves. Check yourselves. Do what you couldn't do. Do what you couldn't do. And tell me if there's any improvement. How many of us came here either for ourselves or for our loved ones to be healed? Specifically in the area of healing. Let me just see your hands. Inside and outside, can you just wave it to the Lord? How many of you came here to be healed? Okay, very quickly, while the worship team leads us in a powerful worship session, want all the sick people to make their way right now. Just, just guide all the people that are under the anointing. Just shift them. Don't drag them around. Please, let's do that very quickly. Make your way out and just stand in a straight line and trust God for a miracle. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. And it will break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. Break every chain. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. Break every chain. Look how many people are trusting God for healings and miracles. I sincerely pray with all my heart that every church and every assembly of God will permit the power of God to operate in their place. It is not a thing of pride to have so many, look at, literally, maybe hundreds of people right outside. There is a long queue and we'll have to minister to these people. It's not God's idea to have one superstar. It's just that many people especially men of God are unwilling to press into the dimensions that bring them to the possibilities we are going to do this very very fast all of you who are sitting make sure you are connected and um, you are participating while we are ministering to the sick I want you to pass your prayer request ushers you can walk around please make sure all those outside even those on the roadside make sure that we receive their prayer request because I'll be laying hands on it immediately afterwards Myself and Pastor Jax will be ministering to you. Whatever your challenge is, I want you to believe God. While you're standing, lift your voice and begin to say, Lord, I will not return back with this sickness. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Father, I stretch my hands over your people. Let your healing power deliver and strengthen. The Lord is healing someone of pile. I'm seeing someone that has suffered pile for a long time. The Lord is healing you right now. You may be in the healing line, but the Lord is healing you right now. Hallelujah. Please make your way. Make your way. It doesn't matter who lays hands on you. There is a corporate anointing in this place. Hallelujah. Please, as soon as we lay hands on you, just go this way very quickly. There are people right to the back outside so that we'll hurry up. And there are still other things we need to do. Praise God. matter what is wrong with you just a laying on of hands the anointing of the spirit is like a drug the moment it enters your body it begins to work and it brings you healing you will notice that some people are standing for healing but as soon as hands are laid on them devils are coming out because they are the causes of these infirmities Holy, 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 holy,
holy, holy, holy. Holy, holy, holy. of this brother the legs look at me leave him move your hand for him look at me have you tried walking before huh? lift your leg try lift it lift it lift the other one lift it lift it Just stand behind him so in case he wants to fall, you hold him. Look at me. See, just look at me, not your legs. Look at me. Come, come, come. Just come. Don't think of how it will happen. Come, come, come. Come on, you celebrate Jesus. You are mighty Jesus. on your throne. Completely, the legs are open. If you are yet to pass yours, please just do it quickly. Can we all rise? As many as can rise, please, inside and outside. It's a very prophetic moment right now. Jesus, my heart will sing. Yeah. No other name. No other name. Jesus. Jesus. Jesus.
those outside, can we have it quickly? No other name. Hallelujah. We just have five minutes to do this. Listen, I assure you, this is the place where God answers prayers. Hallelujah. I may not be able to minister to everyone individually, but I want you to know that this is a representation of your heart's desire. This is a representation of why you are here. And I'm going to lay my hands as, and as much as possible as a point of contact. All I want you to do is stretch your hands here and begin to receive answers to your prayer. Go ahead. Shibarato soto Go ahead. Stretch your hands as I pray on this. Our God is greater. Our God is stronger. Just play the tune while we pray. Stretch your hands and receive. Shaka parata katamaladaba. Lord, we are praying. Please make sure you are praying outside. Stretch your hands towards the screen. Say, Lord, I receive it. I receive it. lift your hands and stretch your hands here and pray pray from the depth of your heart There be testimonies in the name of Jesus. Turn impossible situations into testimonies. Lord, we agree, we agree, we agree in the name of Jesus. Turn impossible situations to testimonies. Stretch your hands and keep receiving. I receive by faith. Come on, pray. All kinds of miracles by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. All kinds of miracles. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your glory. Even as these prayer points, Lord, are lifted up to you, Lord. As your people look up to you, Lord. They look up to you, Lord, from whence their help cometh from my Father. I ask you, Lord, that you send angels, Lord. You send answers, my Father. I pray that God doors that are yet to be opened be opened. My Father, I pray for healings, Lord. Healings or terminal cases, Lord, let it be turned. Lord, where people said, there's no way, my Father, we pray that doors, Lord, you create streams in wilderness places. My Father, Lord, for people that cast away, my Father, Lord, you make them renowned by the power of your spirit. We ask for your hand to rest upon your people. Lord, we ask that, Lord, miracles, miracles, Lord, will be given to your people. Answers to prayers, Lord, prayer points that have been pending for many years. We ask that, God, doors be open, Lord. Let miracles, Lord, flow into this house in the name of Jesus. Testimonies, we are bound in great ways, Lord, unprecedented miracles. Lord, we pray in the name of Jesus. We ask for healings. We ask that, Lord, 
people that are insane you cause them to be sane in the name of jesus we pray for contract that long delayed lord we pray that lord will be awarded by the power of your spirit in the name of jesus and we pray for a shield of protection over your saints lord in the name of jesus we ask for a revitalization of spiritual lives by the power of your spirit let the fire of god call come on cold altars in the name of jesus let there be healings and touches in families in the blessed name of jesus we give you praise we give you glory for the great and mighty things you will do amongst us lord we give you praise blessed father for we know all our prayers have been answered by the power of your spirit we thank you in the name of jesus we pray hallelujah hallelujah if you believe that your request has been turned into a testimony, I'd like you to shout a loud hallelujah. Shout a loud hallelujah. A loud hallelujah. A loud hallelujah. 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 For many of you, it will be like you are dreaming when you will watch one by one by one by one by one by one in the name of the lord jesus christ it's by the anointing it's not by english burdens are destroyed because of the anointing hallelujah this last segment you've heard me say it again this is the most powerful and most impactful segment if you're not a man of the spirit you may not understand what i'm saying please help them this is the most powerful of this segment right now before we go into this where i begin to prophesy there are two dimensions to prophecy there is the revelatory dimension of prophecy that dimension of prophecy gives you direction but the stronger dimension of prophecy is the creative dimension that's when things that are not become by the power of the spoken word never joke with the power of prophecy that's the power that created the heavens and the earth he said i prophesied as i was commanded before we do that very quickly everyone inside and outside there are people here tonight who are saying man of god i want to commit my life to the lord i've seen the miracles i've seen the signs and wonders but my way is not right with the lord you know that right now as you're standing here if the trumpet sounds you're not making heaven you know it right now having a christian name is not the same as having a relationship with jesus there are some you've given your heart to the lord at one time please help those under the anointing i tell you there will be a powerful impartation right now i sense a heavy anointing on me already that's why i'm doing this very quickly now if you are here please don't delay us you are saying i want to return home for whatever reason you found yourself living the ways of god and you are saying lord i have heard your word and i'm not ashamed to make jesus my lord there are people in this auditorium young and old there are people by all the overflows right to the roadside no matter how far you are hearing my voice it should not be too far right now i'll just count one to five please run like you are running away from death run like there's fire on the mountain one inside and outside the devil is a liar tonight don't let any spirit stop you Tori. hallelujah hallelujah keep coming god bless you you have won it all for me hallelujah hallelujah you have won the victory sing hallelujah hallelujah Keep coming, keep coming. Please hurry up and catch up with us. So so deep with you. Hey, so so deep with you. We give you the praise. So so deep. One more time. Don't sit back 
hear when you hear the voice of the Lord. I appreciate every one of you for coming out. This is the way to the cross. Listen, no matter what you achieve in life, if your eternal destiny is not secured, it says, this is the testimony that God has given us eternal life. But he said, this life is in his son. Until you have the son, you do not have that life. Lift your right hand. Forget about who is looking at you. And in the name of Jesus, I want you to pray this prayer from the depth of your heart. You are not reciting a poem. It's not a special number. This is a decision. There's one of you here. You smoke all these kinds of things. Igbo and the rest. Huh? But as you pray this prayer, the power is broken over your life. Say after me, as loud as you can from the depth of your heart. Say, Lord Jesus, I love you with all my heart and with everything within me. This night, I make Jesus Lord of my life. I repent of my sins. I declare that eternal life comes into my spirit i am born again i'm a child of god from today the power of sin the power of the flesh is broken over me my past is gone and it's over forever i am a new creation in christ in the name of jesus the power of sin is broken over my life in the name of jesus i receive of your life in jesus name i pray now i stretch my hands over you and i declare the power of sin is broken over your life in the name of jesus every yoke that has tied you down lets you go forever in the name of jesus i declare that is a new season for you everything that is a habit and a challenge in your life i release you from it right now every covenant and ordinance of darkness that is the foundation of your trouble by the blood of jesus it is wiped away i set you free i break you free from every wrong association that keeps you in sin in the name of jesus christ i pray hallelujah i want to congratulate all of you for making this decision this is the greatest decision you would ever make in your life hallelujah now very quickly so that you will catch up with us in this prophetic session I want you to follow the gentlemen waving their hands they will have your details and then we'll follow you up very closely praise the Lord just follow them koinonia celebrate them as they go all of you this way this way just follow the gentlemen now everybody rise please I want you to receive this prophetic word this is the seventh month and the Bible says, Revive thy walk in the midst of the years. Hallelujah. There is a mystery with the seventh month. It's the time where God perfects all things. As I prophesy to you, please, I want you to know that there is an anointing that makes it happen. Hallelujah. Listen, listen. Don't, don't mind all that nonsense one way to conquer satan is to ignore him all of that rubbish uh, is is the devil works in the realm of the senses by the time you focus all your attention on this drama and these things you will waste your time i know you are trying as ushers just stand around satan does not have authority i want you to know that there is an anointing manifestations are already signs that his power is broken but Satan knows that we walk in the realm of the flesh. So he begins to act around your mind to distract you. When you ignore Satan is one way of conquering him. It does not have the capacity to continue all of this nonsense. Are you getting my point? So this is teaching you so that tomorrow you don't end up wasting your time with all this rubbish and all this drama. Praise the Lord. Lift your hands. I prophesied as I was commanded. You are Yahweh, you are seated on the throne, 
you are Yahweh seated on the throne you are Yahweh you are seated on the throne father in the name of Jesus I'm praying right now by the ministry of angels are they not ministering spirits send to minister today that be the heirs of salvation I pray for you every weakness in your life that weakness dies tonight in the name of Jesus every weakness in your life that weakness leaves you tonight in the name of Jesus hallelujah I prophesy to you that Red Sea you are standing before by the anointing of the Holy Ghost in this second half of the year an anointing comes upon you and I prophesy cross every Red Sea cross every Red Sea cross every Red Sea in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for every student here oh for there is a spirit in man and the inspiration make it men of understanding I'm praying for you some of you listen as I pray now some of you will literally feel like oil being poured upon your head it's an impartation of knowledge right now oh God I release an anointing to change the story of students at the count of three let it fall right now one two three take it take it take it take it now take it now that anointing receive it for exploits shaka ta 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 inside and outside take it for exploits exploits Exploit. Hallelujah. Everything called stagnation in your life that has forced you to stay in one position while you should be moving right now in the name of Jesus and by the power of prophecy, I command stagnation to end now. 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 Now, now, now. My goodness, something is happening to your destiny. Every night season in your life, every wilderness experience that has refused to break forth into the day, I speak to you right now. Your morning arrives finally. Your morning arrives finally. Your morning arrives finally. Hallelujah. There is something called favor. I don't know if you know it, but there is something called favor. When the favor of God, Masabatalaka, is upon a man, your looks, your background, your qualifications. No longer matter let an anointing of favor right now i see at least 100 people 100 people like fire 100 people right now receive it receive it favor 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 upon your life favor 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 I prophesy by an apostolic anointing favor 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 Every 
anyone holding anything that should be given to you for the next level I don't care where they are but I sound an alarm in the spirit that in this month we are entering called August may that be the month where you receive the keys of the next level receive the keys of the next level the mysteries of the next level every spiritual blindness Shababa. things happen around you you cannot see blood of spiritual vision i pray right now many of you will see like flashes of light as i'm praying right now you will see literally like flashes of light your eyes are opening right now right now right now right now right now by the power of the holy ghost blindness spiritual blindness spiritual blindness be free from it right now be free from it right now be free from it right now hallelujah there are many of us here dreams and visions are prophetic channels where we get insight and direction but for many of us our dreams and visions have either been corrupted or it's no longer there the bible says they will dream dreams it says they will see visions Shakataba, lift your hands there will be an, a restoration anointing right now i just want you to shout i receive listen many things will happen to you many of you is an activation of the realm of dreams and visions where god will start showing you the blueprint for the next level right now in the name of jesus at the count of three as you shout i receive let there be an impartation upon your dream life upon spiritual visions one two three now you receive it receive it restoration of fire fire dream dreams see visions dream dreams see visions dream dreams see visions dream dreams hallelujah he says what do you have in your house and she said nothing except a jar of oil i want to prophesy upon your gift it's one thing to be gifted but it's another thing for your gift to be anointed there are many of you the gift you have can bring bread to your table but nobody is seeing it it's one thing to be gifted it's one thing to be skilled but it's another thing for your gift to be anointed thou anointed my head with oil and it makes my cup to overflow i prophesy to you whatever has covered your gift whatever has made your gift barren right now in the name of jesus i anoint your gift now i anoint your skill now i anoint your gift now creativity creativity i release it i release that anointing creativity skill expertise competence proficiency in the name of jesus christ Listen, anybody who has said it's not your time to manifest that you always remain on the background you clap for others but you are not cursed it's God's desire that every man will also come to the lamb light I pray for you 
whatever has kept you behind right now in the name of Jesus I command let the light be on you let the light of glory be on you hallelujah everything you have tried by your strength to do and you have been unable to do throughout half of this year you have tried by your strength i'm releasing grace upon your life right now go back to that same thing and watch how god will bless you through it i pray for every ministry here from glory to glory every church represented from honor to honor new dimensions of the anointing in the name of jesus christ every business here it's time to shine come on every business here i strengthen your hand arise and shine arise and shine arise and shine arise and shine lift your hands one last prayer listen i want to activate the gift of the spirit without the gift of the spirit upon your life your life will be barren and unfruitful it says for i long to see you that i may impart upon you some spiritual gift to the end that ye be established i pray for you in the name of the lord jesus christ that the lord himself something is about to happen to your life right now as i speak father I come under this apostolic anointing right now across the length and breadth in this auditorium and outside at the count of three let there be an activation of spiritual gifts one two three take it take it gift of healing word of knowledge gift of prophecy 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 Prophecy, 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 prophecy. I activate the prophetic. I open your eyes. Spiritual gifts, endowments of the spirit. I declare that you are supernatural beginning from tonight in the name of jesus everywhere you go you are supernatural let the anointing upon this house follow you like a shadow i prophesy to you every anointing that is upon this house from today let it follow you like a shadow whatever the anointing has brought to this house let it bring into your life. Hallelujah. Lift your hands and give him praise. Father, we give you all the praise. I assure you you will know that this miracle service was unusual you will know many of you right from this night tomorrow will not reach you start having your testimonies right from this night right from this night favor alerts calls I mean connections mysterious happenings I speak to the spiritual borders of your destiny and in the name of Jesus I command that every gate that has been closed the Bible says your gate shall be continually open so you have a gate your gate shall be continually open to receive the forces of the Gentiles I pray for you in the name that is above all names let everything in your life start working for you I command the earth to work for you. 
I command the wind to walk for you. I command the stars to walk for you. Everything that is a disappointment in your life, I change it tonight to a testimony. Hallelujah. If you're worshiping with us for the first time, keep standing, everybody. There are many people outside. Let me speak upon your life personally. Wherever you are, please make your way to the front quickly. We have one minute to do this. God bless you. This is your first time. You are most welcome. There is a prophecy for you. You must carry a signature. No, stand up. Keep standing. Everybody must know you came for Koinonia. Hallelujah. Listen, when you come here, we may not give you hampers, but we give you an identity. You will go back with it and everyone will know that you met the Christ. Make your way to the front. Koinonia, celebrate them. Glorious. Glorious. God brought them by his spirit. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salmon. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here. Don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing, keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing Jesus. I'll see you again. Bye.